Yep, free money for the players. Definitely check it out. But we are going to have a Jacko straight off the rip facing off against the Eno. So that is where we're going to start. Man, to see yeah. how this deals. I mean, I feel like for Eno, uh, it can be a little difficult because you are... While you do have some mobility tools, it can be difficult once some uh, some minions get set up to be able to close the distance to get the threatened Jacko out. But, uh... And this is kind of how it starts, right? <laughs> Yeah, and of course, Eno doesn't have really solid reversal options, right? Even her super isn't that strong of a reversal. So, having to utilize the system mechanics here, FD for your life. And there you go. Stroke the big tree is going to be a big aspect of trying to escape, just to get underneath those minions. Yeah, it's going to be a lot about how you crouch as well as Jacko, because HCL is obviously a very powerful tool for being able to poke her out and stop some of these minions too. But with the safe jump off the pull of the minion, we're going to close out that first round again. Killer offense to start us off. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of both ways, right? You know, wants to score that knockdown and then immediately take charge with her own turn. But the 2D flying right underneath the chemical love. And Joe Brownie is just taking full control of the pace of this match right now. Dagger close slashes, Elysium driver. Amazing amount of damage to come through. Still not quite enough to kill, but guessing for your life here. Anything will do it now, but we're just going to opt for the minion and just try and go for the consistency's oh. sake. That is going to set up for Chip, and that is going to set up a perfect Joe Brownie. That's one yeah. game down. That's a situation that's really difficult, right? Because you're forced to FD if you want to stay alive, but getting out of that situation, especially with Eno and having that kind of awkward, you know, Morgan dash is going to make things even harder. But let's see now if we can score a hit, start running our offense, because that's the big thing. Emo Scooby-Doo hasn't gotten a chance to utilize their own tools in an offensive scenario quite yet. Yeah, one counter hit stroke and really hasn't gotten an opportunity otherwise. It's been all Joe Brownie all the time, uh, as well as... Uh, you know, just being able to answer a lot of things that, that are even attempted from uh, Scooby-Doo. Whenever they get an opportunity, they've gone for things like HCL, uh, and Joe's just been able to low profile it. Sure, and so far, things are looking like a little bit more of the same here. But now we get the low. There we go. Knockdown. Goes for the empty low again this time. Picks it out. Tap does. Does not quite work out after the back dash, but still maintains opportunity with the burst. Going to go for the super. The bonus is going to be really good here. Joe Brownie on a last breath. Goes for the back dash, though, and that's a knockdown. That's huge, actually. Yeah, that was a big opportunity. You might not get another chance. And the YRC too far away to actually touch Jacko. Just getting the minion, and now here we go in a despicable situation. The OTG does it. It's just that quick. One little error is all it takes for the round to go completely amiss. But Emo Scooby-Doo finds that touch again. Knockdown with the Wild Assault. Gets to the wall and is going to be able to find the Shatter. The double HCL. No hard knockdown, though, which means we're back to neutral here. You cannot allow Joe Brownie to score another knockdown and get those minions out. And this could immediately turn around. No boat burst for Emo Scooby-Doo. We do have Deflect Shield, but are we going to use it? is definitely good. I love that cancel of the dash. Doesn't get much, though. Double back dash. Ends up getting poked by the 2S. Oh, and there's the 2K poking out the stroke, the big tree, as Dank X Men comes through with the 12 months, a whole year. Thank you for the support. BRC4 doesn't get the slowdown, still fine. The jab was really, really good. Get yourself up as Killing Edge comes through with a $10 contribution to the Match Arena. Thank you very much. As always, just remember 100% of the Match Arena does go to the players, so definitely appreciate you for supporting there. Wow, after the YRC, we just immediately go for the 5H to get right back in. We missed the confirm there, and 2D comes through, and that's gonna be game number two here for Joe Brownie. Heartbreaking. Dropped opportunities a couple times in a row. I mean, Joe's just doing a good job of capitalizing on mistakes from Emo Scooby Doo. You cannot be dropping combos like that, knowing that a character like this is just gonna be mashing something like 2D, being able to low profile a ton of the things that you want to do. Yeah, absolutely. It's just been. Such a, a, a difficult scenario here for Emo Scooby-Doo to really get any offense going. And then, obviously, those key drops that we're getting, going for a lot of 6H, but it's just not really being super effective. Joe Brownie is willing to block, willing to be patient, not getting hit by those frame traps. Oh, now we're Dude, IED right away finds the hit. First comes through. Stroke does manage to clear the minions, though. It's a little bit of a respite, but not quite as the recall comes through. And look at the damage. Yeah, the Elysian Driver going to do a chunk to your health bar, plus the hard knockdown, which means we get the free minion set up. And this is not looking too good. There's the cross up. Got caught. Preston set point now for Joe Brownie. Yeah, a little left-right action coming through. 
Joe is looking for anything, tries to find the poke right away. A little too far, but that's okay. Even on the block here, is able to jump the stroke. 6P does get the knockdown, so big opportunity. But again, the low is dealt with. Here we go. Time to run our own offense. Ooh, the heavy stroke coming in for that meaty low. Goes low again. And Joe is so scared of the overhead, right, that these lows are just connecting over and over. Emo Scooby-Doo recognizing that and trying to go for the overhead in, but gets the frame trap in the end for a perfect. Yeah, I mean, the early stages of this was a lot of lows coming out from Emo Scooby-Doo, but unfortunately, off of the trade, this is not looking good. Minions have been summoned, uses the Wild Assault to extend that pressure. And is even able to steal the turn on a 2D no cancel. Yeah, but here we go. Trade a little bit of space. Tries to go no for the Elysium Driver. Is absolutely going to whiff. Oh, no! I don't know what we were expecting there. Maybe expecting some kind of a burst or just didn't get the button press they wanted. But that's fine. That's fine. Still able to maintain this offense, getting a grip of damage. Now you need this mix to survive. And a terrible plot. Now PRC does find the throw, though. There we go. Oh, slap. Yeah, I was surprised to not see it, uh, whether it's just to extend the combo or extend pressure, not seeing the RC come through. But in the end, it's used for the burst bait, so it does work out. Yeah, luckily everything is going well here for Emo Scooby-Doo. Still needs to make this reverse 3-0, but a good start, getting a perfect and closing out a game. They're starting to make these adjustments here now, and the offense is looking pretty clean. Yeah, definitely significantly better at having more opportunities and even on the drops is doing a better job of getting out of neutral and back into these scrambles once things get a little bit messy it feels like that's where scooby-doo is getting more value so joe brownie uh, the set play has looked clean and overall has had good control when the minions are out but when the chips are down has looked a little worse for wear yeah, absolutely and now again trying to move in through these minions starting to incorporate a little bit of that deep flex Shield command is really strong. We've seen it time and time again in really high level play. And now you're stuck in the corner, having to hold on to all this minion pressure. Poke though, though. YRC, buy yourself some room as you find the connection again. Minions into the throw. That's gonna be the round. Set point once again for Joe. Can we lock it down this time? That guy gives up the room. I actually really like that. Ends up finding a knockdown. Oh no, the mortal counter there with the 5H. You know, Scooby Doo really just trying to figure out a way to find the gap. There it is. Gets it with a 2K. 2K into 6H this time. Oh my god. Scouts out the first in just the most ridiculous way. Sets up the minion. Here comes the reversal. Is able to block, but unfortunately blocks everything. So now Eno's opportunity goes for a double jump. Drops to confirm. Uh oh, but the whiff throw. 2k 2d. That's fine. Gets another mix up opportunity. Uses the deflect shield into the 5h. Good back oh. dash. Bad recognition there for Joe Brownie, but still okay. I'd say advantage to you at this point. Almost has the half burst there and is able to dash up and just get the poke. So that was really smart at the end there. Colum really making a big splash in a lot of online tournaments lately. A really, really strong Happy Chaos player. So we're going to see some more of his action here. But of course, going up against Mr. Soul at Guy. Shout to one of the Marvel goats, by the way. Living legend in the chat. 43 months. We appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, as always. The denim soul goes so hard. Still does to this day. Chaos. Versus Soul. All right, of course, round start. Soul is going to want to try to push that offense, right? Immediately goes for 2D. All right, I respect it. <laughs> we know what we're here for. There's that knockdown. Gets the steady aim. Finds the throw on a punish, actually. And gets the OTG. And that mix-up just continues a little bit off of the wall. So we're going to go Deus X. And that's going to get the full reload. So max resources coming up again for Happy Chaos in this one. Yep, and then just immediately rushing on in, catching you, whipping the 5k with the gunshot. The IBFD was very nice, just like that sub from Mustard Pie. Nine months, thank you so much. Wow, quick backdash drops the combo, but it's not going to matter. Gets the reset. I mean, you already have the gun out and you've already taken aim. Even on a drop right there, that reset is so, so stable. That's a big thing, right? Stability. That is what is so good about Happy Chaos. Feels like everything he does is stable. There is a backdash straight into a punish with the close slash. Stable side swap, just like that. 
as we've always said, it's a huge commitment in this game to initiate or attempt to tech throws without meter. And how popular it's become to just backdash these uh, these situations has kind of exemplified it even farther. As we find a wild throw into the corner and kills them for the backdash there. Twice! Oh. Bro, 5H, punch your soul out of your body. Dude, between 5H, 5S, 6S, Soul has some incredible buttons for tra chasing that. So wall backdash is really good against those, and it has worked out for you. You have to be a little careful about when you go for it. You can absolutely get clapped for it. Yeah, Soul can punish backdash <laughs> with some of the highest damage of any character in this game. Here we go. Speaking of the damage, Deus Ex Machina breaking the wall and get that hard knockdown. No meter. How do you spend this? Block, high low, might go for the roll. Noach goes for cancel. Oh my RC, God. good defense, but you just can't block forever. Yeah, something is going to connect, and it's a perfect for Column. Game number one. That was brutal at the end there, utilizing, yeah, not going for the, the classic 5D that you would normally see, right? We're not going to start off mm. with the layer one. We're going straight to layer three with the BRC mix up into the back dash in the air. <laughs> Yeah, depending on your timings of the BRCs too, uh, it can look like that instant overhead, right? You see people go for the backdash and they'll go JP yes. just as they land. Uh, so it visually is pretty tricky to see the extended, uh, the extended mix up in that spot. Uh, I don't know, kind of put you on your toes. <laughs> Man, the Column is so good in the air with Happy Chaos. That's one thing I've noticed about his play, right? Consistently going for a lot of air to airs and utilizing the gun to cover his own whiffs. But here's a nice counter, easy. Trying to get the pressure going. Gets the JP, but didn't believe in it. Good block from Doom Stomp. Ends up having to spend the burst anyways, though. Viper with no meter still gets the hit. Oh, oh I love the idea. Trying to go for the Night Raid Vortex after you see the reload. Unfortunately, Column just a little too quick on the draw. Okay, that little poke SDP does get the punish. Good RC. Recognizing that the reaction there was so difficult, but being able to get the slowdown with the RC puts you in a position where it's significantly easier. But we use the Wild Assault to negate that IBFD. Really good offense. And then here we go. Massive counter hit, but drops the clean hit DP. And now it's going to eat a massive punish for it. Positive bonus here for Column. Things aren't looking too good for Easy. Yeah, simple side swap there. Getting the hit with the steady aim. Throws okay. That is wow. nasty. Back that the bandit or the bat here, excuse me. But wow, actually doesn't get the Deus Ex through the wall. Easy is able to tech off and block it. Duty hits while the salt doesn't get much value. Burst suddenly available. Tries to go for Vortex again. It still does not work out. Deus Ex is available and the shoot up is gonna come through. Column, we're gonna put another one on the board, two games straight. And it's really, really disappointing too because Soul is usually incredible in those scramble scenarios, right? And you see oh, yeah. Easy going for the big call outs, the Night Raid Vortexes, but Column just seems to always come out on top every time we get into the scramble. Really just doing a, a, utilizing a lot of really good buttons, right? That JS is incredible. Knowing when to send out the JS when Soul is coming at you with the Night Raid Vortex, getting that timing yeah. down is really important because Soul can release it a little early to catch you. Oh, definitely. Plus it's just a, a hard move to hit in general because of how low to the ground he is. So low he goes underground when he goes into it. Momentum burst. IB enables, enables the punish actually. Here we go, sent to the other side, and the counter hit! Plenty of time for Deus Ex. This time, it will certainly get the send through the wall. Positive Bone is gonna rack up some of these resources. Dashes in right away, finds the hit, tries to go for a little bit of a mix-up at the end, and again, that same super, super lengthy Goomba Stomp of a mix-up finds the hit, takes the kill one round away. Yeah, this time got caught at the end, thought they could find the gap, and the far slash came out. Runs right to the 2S. And mixing up the timings of the gunshots, too, is really throwing easy off, right? Just when they think, okay, the shot's not coming in, I can try and close the gap. Boom! Immediately, they eat a bullet. Gunflame does get a favorable trade in that one, though. Hilo works out. Again, Gunflame win where ends up working out. Maybe it's the sole fireball game is what we needed the whole time. Gunflame is continuing to connect. 
I mean, it keeps you at a safer distance, right? And you can sometimes move behind it as well. Oh, Deus Ex, are we close enough to the wall is the question. Looks like we are, and it is going to get that guaranteed shatter damage, but look at the meter. All right, 5H is gonna whiff, and there we go. Column taking it three. Oh, what a performance. Would be a nightmare to contend with. So he, might, he, he might keep his, his dash, his, his teleport dash, but there's yeah. no way they're letting him have dash no, cancel. No not way. <laughs> but All here right. we go. Yeah, Jumping every... in for next max. <laughs> Quinn Stylish and Margarita Love and Destroy. MLD? <laughs> MLD, that's crazy. Hey, 6P not going to be able to find its mark. Goes into the heavy disc. Already a pretty decent start here. Finds the hit and keeps that pressure going to the corner. Yeah, but Sin keeping the pressure up. The wild boy there. 6H to break the wall. Just a dominating right now for Gwyn. This connection gets the poke. I mean, these normals from Sin. Sin is the best character we don't see often. I'm not sure why people don't like playing him. This character's crazy. I still think he's top five, bro. He's so good. <laughs> I think some people just think he's a little boring, maybe, but I don't see why. He's got so many fun tools, and the pressure is crazy. And look at that, with the tick throw off of the 2P. You might not like playing him, but you can't argue with results. The rush down is in. That is a perfect. That is the first game to go in. Yeah. Beautiful stuff there, just absolutely dominating. Keeping Melia locked down, that's the big part, right? We're willing to utilize the wall assault as well just to keep yep. you in block string, crank that risk gauge, and make sure that Melia has nowhere to run, nowhere to use her movement. Yeah, we talk about this at least once per stream because we usually will have like Rat or somebody come up. As Milia, generally being hard to catch is the first thing that you worry about. So uh, being able to stay sticky and be able to keep her from being able to abuse that is the most important part of this. And like you said, Sin is just uh, naturally the goat at it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But let's see now. That's going to be the big thing here for Margarita, right? It's going to be creating that space, maybe taking to the sky a little bit more, because Sin's anti-airs aren't necessarily the greatest. I would say probably what, Close Slash is his strongest anti-air, yeah. because it bounces you down. But here we go now. MLD, getting that burst out. <laughs> Wait, MLD's gonna stick. Nice knockdown, gets the throw. Margarita in a little bit of trouble, but does spend the burst, gets the connection, has a knockdown, but couldn't turn it into much, and they're starting to use that compel at normal jump height. We see that a lot. Super strong option. You can see trying to go for that Sun Dipper there to get something started, but keeping in the skies is going to avoid that altogether. Avoiding a lot of Sin's really strong pokes too, right? Absolutely, as we find the 5k, extend a little more. Hair car to break the wall. Didn't have a way to secure a hard knockdown. Uh-oh, but got clipped trying to backdash. That was a great RC start there from Gwyn, and then getting hit with the hoof stomp. Now you're in the blunder. But we're out of calories. Oh. Stamina, excuse me, wrong game. <laughs> hey, still counts. Gets the poke, takes the kill. I like the jump back there to preemptively stop the instant air dash, but unfortunately couldn't find much off of it. Still ends up getting the round though. Margarita gets the, tries to get the jump over, gets air thrown for their troubles. Yeah, and the movement was working a little bit earlier here, but still, Wynn is doing a great job of locking them down. Here we go, into the mix up though. Nice with the overhead. Nothing. Back to 6P is able to catch. Wow. Oh, YRC. Get you a little bit of room. Close slash. Tries to steal the turn. Do it again. A couple times in a row, but doesn't get much off of it. 2H ends up ending your turn. And when the turn goes back to Gwyn, you know what's happening next. The poke and straight with the follow-up. Having that extra stamina to be able to go from a, a safe beat driver of initiation into the Sun Dipper to close the distance is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Nasty work here from Gwyn Stylish right now up 2-0. We did see some great ideas from Margarita. They were keeping pace while they were staying mostly in the skies. But when it comes to the ground game, they really are just not able to establish any kind of pressure. Or really any kind of footsies against Sin. Mankind knew that they cannot 
not change society. I mean, well, I footsies is not where you want to see yourself against Sin, right? No. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that 2S, that 2K, all really great buttons. Far Slash is a lot better in this version of the game as well. But there we go, gets the throw. Yeah, that was a reversal. punish on the DP. <laughs> yeah, throwing the reversal is huge. We DP out of the fake disc, though, gets the clean hit into the corner. Yep, while the salt just keep the pressure going. You see, we're going for a lot of those six Ks, just trying to catch you pressing or standing. Oh, JK Ooh. gets the connection there. The landing was so smart. I like that when we poked in that spot too, since we were trying so hard to control the corner, we just go 2K. Something a little non-committal is able to go for the jump straight afterwards and then catch the back dash on the low. Oh my God, the JS though. Yeah, Margarita That's had clean. to burst there. You were going to be nearly dead. Oh, this is close. Has an RC available. Uses the Wild Assault. Finds the throw. And with that, it should be enough. The guaranteed damage on the Shatter will take the kill. And with another perfect... Dude, the unstoppable child. <laughs> Sin takes another one. Sin, Sin obviously got a lot better in Season 3. But on the slower yeah. side, uh, he doesn't have the greatest anti-airs. He doesn't have the greatest air buttons as well. I mean, JH is pretty yeah. good. JH is good, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm not going to lie. But you can outspace him in a lot of cases, or you can whip punish him in a lot of cases as well. But here we go. Straight to the next match. No delays. Already gets a connection to the wall. Goes for the burst just to avoid the wild assault follow up 2S a couple times in a row. We're committed to the normal. Ends up not working out for us though on the knockdown. And Op Fox coming in here on the soul bad guy. Arc Blade on Leo. There's a massive punish on the whiff DP. Not quite dead, but man, it's gonna hurt. This Leo probably looks like Bowser in the wedding suit. Mods. <laughs> you know what to do. 2S, nice pickup. Double. 5k twice in a row working out missile drop kick straight to the ankle all right still has burst going to this next round as well that's a huge win for arc blade what a anti air there with the 5p and that was a great way to just to cover the round star right 5p to stuff anything that soul's gonna do and just happens to work as a great anti air nothing was good finds the overhead Pressure continues and look at the meter as well. Even if some of this is blocked, you're gonna be able to get straight back in here. Gets the counter with the guard point. That's gonna be game number one there for Arc Blade. Finishing it with the super. Unnecessary, but understandable. Gotta do what you gotta do. Keep it simple, keep it safe, end it as quick as possible. And I just want to point out again, was able to get that much pressure and that much momentum without spending any bar. So once you have your opponent at a place where next hit will certainly kill, if you still have a hundred meter uh, like locked up, you are able to take such wacky risks at that point. That is like almost, almost checkmate. Checkmate's kind of an annoying way to put it, but like a hundred meter on Leo and he doesn't really have to worry about your what you're going to do in response. Oh, good luck, brother. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, for sure. Here we go, trying to keep the pressure up, immediately rushing in, only to be met with a DP. But that is not going to stop us. 2S has kind of been yep. the, the real gold button here for Soul. Oh my god, the 6P is a good answer, though. Tries to wait. Baby was trying to bait and look for the parry. Does not work out in their favor. Oh my god, in dust we trust. We still have those 2024. <laughs> yeah. Saw the 6H, knew the Tombstone was on the way. Good DP and good on the same side as well on that back turn mix up. All right, but the first comes out. Fox thinks they can take this. Set right back into the corner, but still 100 meter for Soul is massive. Clean it, DP. RC, finish your food. There we go. Another one of those safe and simple. Might as well just DP again. Good on you, Fox. Decent job here, but the knockdown off the DP. OTGs with the 2D to try and keep corner. I like that. Right, no hard knockdown, so it's back to neutral again. Wow, just a dash of 2K. You saw Fox tried to go for the dash break, but we didn't hold down back. Got caught lacking. Okay. Poke happens again. Big follow through. 5K actually connects. Connect. I thought we were going to get an OTG there. It ends up being a full wall break. That was incredible. And just like this, Fox is back in the fight. Another DP into the clean hit. 
Yeah, goes for the meaty into the wild throw. What a piece. Wow. Fafnir actually doesn't connect, but leaves the perfect amount of time for the wild, though. You love to see it. Wild throw is, is such a fun move. You know, I know people are sad that it doesn't, you know, it, you only get a combo after RC, but there's just something so visceral about the way you just get chopped. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely get yamcha and I appreciate that. <laughs> nice little crater for you to sleep in on the wild throw. One to one on the games. My soul is the best at the strike throw game here in Strive. Because he's got a hell of a throw to give you. Yep, because a wild assault knew the burst was going to have to go. So trading a full burst for a half, definitely worth it to get back to neutral. As 2S for both players starting to stick out a little bit here. Yeah, of course. Leo is going to have the longer reaching 2S. Goes the RC. Wow, the willingness to challenge there after the close slash. From both Locked players. So they saw the DP right afterwards. Gets the poke again. Bro, we are swinging. We are brawling. And there we go, baiting out the DP. You're going to hold on to the burst because you know you're dead. Might as well keep it for the next round. Up, gets a trade, tries to look for the far slash afterwards. Trade combo, instead just base the DP. Does it again! You just lost half your health for DPing and you do it again. I love it. That's the Leo player special. They gotta do it. You gotta be, you gotta have that type of energy in you to make this character work. You gotta be brave. All right, RC empty low. Oh, we still think we can take this. I mean, you nearly have a hundred meter, right? Six feet lands with the fireball. RC, that should be in. Yeah, it's the exact same situation as the end of the first game. 100 meter for Leo. The second he makes you block anything, he's going to be able to invest two RCs into mixing you up. And what human being on the planet is going to weather the storm of that kind of offense? Yeah, unbelievable there. So Arcblade doing a pretty good job putting themselves up 2-1. Really, so far, both of them have just been rushing into each other and swinging <laughs> like it's been a full-on infight no one can tend to block they're gonna wake up with dp and if they get punished they don't care they're gonna dp again and again both of them just swinging around start arc blades 2s coming through there's the dp connection into the knockdown fireball meaty good just block and trying to get some room dp ends up winning out Clean touch and the wall break, but doesn't get a hard knockdown. Oh, and there it is. 2S again. Goes straight into the wild assault. Confirmed. Has 100 meter. That's going to be the round set point now for Arcblade. Round start again. This time. <laughs> you got to. Okay, hold on. I like it, but you got to chill a little bit. We just dp the router. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Once again, the JD, Wild Assault, punches him in the shoes. Gets the low counter hit, is able to fully confirm it. I love combos like that are so sick. The 2K sees the counter hit, knows they can get close slash in response. Trying to even this up at a game five, but with a 6H round start. OTG with the 2D. Okay. Yo, gotta be careful. Nice 2S coming through once again. Beautiful routing there off the counter hit. Able to get that 5k upon landing. I like ending that in plus frame. Wild throw. Puts him back to mid screen though, so that's dangerous. Oh, no RC again! Please! There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Finds it this time though. Had confidence. I mean, throws a DP at the end. You gotta know. That was <laughs> scary though. Both those times, not going for the RC. I'm honestly shocked that we didn't go for the RC after the wild throw to get the side swap and maintain the corner, or even go for a wall break. Yeah. But, hey, game five. That's what matters here. Fox is still in it, has the chance to bring this back. I'm just becoming more a soul, a soul enjoyer every single time. I'm just oh. thinking about learning this character and then Slayer got announced, so, you know? Anti-Air 5P gets the OTG burst very late into the combo there, but it ends up working out, gets the bringer back to mid-screen. And by mid-screen, I mean we're headed to the other corner until the burst is spent. Oh my god, what a trade. Wow. Yeah, able to get the full clean hit DP there right into the Tyrant Rave. Hard knockdown. Are we going to go for the safe jump or just straight run up? 
Oh my god, and we RC! None of the kill. So thanks for the burst jump. Oh, I got the watcher ankles, the missile drop kick. Still fine. Gets counter hit, has one more guess potentially, jumps out of the overhead. And then <laughs> don't leave gaps. Do not leave gaps. What is this whole set been about? Do not leave a gap. Everything has revolved around the DP and baiting out the DP. Micro Dash into the 2S. Arcblade taking full charge of this round now with this positive bonus. What a clash! Has already committed to the revolver as well. Gets the connection once again. 50 meter. That's not gonna kill, is it? No, Still alive. Absolutely not. But it is a hard knockdown here. Fox should hold on to the burst. <gasps> That was a Hail Mary DP. We said, you know what, I'm going to DP if it works. I, I get to keep fighting. If it doesn't, we're just going to the next round. And next round is where we are going here. Final game, final round. Burst about to be available for both players. Let's run. Round start with the bringer goes 2D afterwards. We are out for blood jobbers. Six PB to back that. Oh, runs right into the heavy slash there. Ooh, heavy slash beating out the vortex. That was crazy. But JS hits its mark. Clean hit DP for the RC. We're going for the wall break. AD, big follow up. No way to secure a hard knockdown. But look at the damage. Arc played in so much trouble right now. But does it matter? The RC's forward. Blocks the vortex. You didn't build a meter in time to protect yourself with an RC. Oh my god. It's anyone's hard game. Knockdown. Look at the meter though. Don't go in. That's smart. <gasps> no punish? No RC? No nothing? Oh, Twice? Blows. That's a hundred meter gone. But we still have burst available. It's an option. Are we going to go for it here? Just immediately spends it. Down to the wire proxy. Next hit will do it. Blocks gets the hit. Still not enough to kill. OTG doesn't kill either. Trying to go for the run up 2D. Low profile, but runs right into the heavy slash. And there it is. Arc blade. Wow, the Johnny earlier on. So, you know, here it is. Yep, the Johnny boys are back. But gonna be going against Nikolai Rocking Sin. Interesting matchup here. This is another one where Johnny can get smothered very easily, right? Yeah, it definitely can. Just depends on how it goes. And already starting to look a little bit like that as we get the connection and the knockdown. Gonna break the wall with a super straight away. Honestly, I feel like the, the biggest issue with Johnny is just his dash. His dash is what makes him more of a weaker character. His offense is incredibly solid once he can get the cards going, and he has great buttons as well. Everything just falls apart thanks to the dash. Speaking of dash, the back dash is going to get caught here. Closing things out with the 6H. Right off the start, goes for the back dash. I like that you recognize that being full screen, you would rather be the one initiating here. If Johnny has an opportunity to be the one starting the engagement, you generally want to do whatever you can to avoid it. And now, just like that, just because Nikolai was able to start the pressure, look at the life totals already. And MJ had to make a big guess to IED out. Oh, but 5H is going to whip. Huge pickup there for MJ. But misses the low miss fighter for the knockdown. That's all right, though. Still maintaining control. Yep, ID back. Probably a lot of good room. Hops forward. RTL! Takes you right back to the corner, but it stays cornered yourself. So you're right back where you started. So this defense from Nikolai is on point. Does get clipped. Tried to bait up the burst. And there it is. Oh, and now can't even accept the trade at this point. Dashes forward and just sticks out the normal. Not what I was expecting there. I was expecting maybe an attempt at a burst option with a DP, maybe a slide on in. No, just picks the normal at that point. Yeah, very. That was a lot of confidence coming through from Nikolai, right? Just knowing that, okay, you're not plus in this scenario. So I'm predicting that you're going to back up. <laughs> Or if you do end up being plus, because obviously you can space it in a situation where Johnny can act first sometimes, uh, you're going to be forced to block before you can dash forward if yeah. they press a button. So it's just a really solid option all around. Not too far there for the full confirm. Tries to go for the 6B, as we said. 
I mean, Sin 6P, while it's a great normal, is not a super good anti-air. It's pretty out. It's pretty middle of the pack as far as anti-airs go. Yeah. Whoa! The movement there from MJ, though. Just flipping right over. Beautiful block in the instant overhead, but not able to block the throw. Set up the card. Push it a little far away so you can push you into the block. Aggressive choices. Sets out the card. Goes for the swing, Ooh. actually knowing that, uh, maybe just expecting that to not be meaty. Ends up working out. Oh, yep, there it is with the reset. But what's his name, chat? I like that Nikolai is already going for those really tricky mix-ups where you hit them with one of your specials and then just cancel it into the dash to get the throw, right? Oh, 6P, working out of the anti-air there. Back that from MJ, ends up getting whiff punished. Sets up the card, sets up the pressure, finds a throw for it. Reset things. And there it is, it's over it is gonna connect this time, getting the first out of Nikolai, but the anti-air beat driver, okay. Just like that, coast to coast. IPFD buys you a good amount of room, but how much can you actually utilize that space? Goes for the low and keeps that pressure going. With the wrist gauge. Yeah, you see that MJ is trying to go for that IBFD there on the second hit of the 5H, right? To push Nikolai out of range to avoid a hoof stomp mix-up. Mmm, guard crush in the low, is able to get the double OTG on the low miss finder. And MJ, with a hell of a turnaround to even that up, looked firmly in control for the entirety of the game. Yeah, even on defense, right? Doing yeah. a really good job on defense of just weathering the storm, waiting for the right opportunity or your turn to press back. Yeah, and not even just waiting sometimes. Sometimes just doing a good job of using mechanics to steal it back. One of the biggest opportunities in that match came from MJ finding an IBFD, getting a backdash out of that, and returning to neutral, which is which is the perfect situation. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's see how things are gonna turn out here at Round Star. Wow, the backdash from Nikolai actually giving up space against Johnny. Slide right underneath the Miss Finder there. Let's see how MJ is going to weather this storm. There it is. Overhead. Just resets the pressure with a close slash. And there it is. Tyrant Rave. Over is definitely good. Dashes up and still has plenty of stamina to use. DP into the super. Super does not connect though. It already come off the ground, but it's not going to matter. Wakes up with the DP. <laughs> Bruh. We are scrambling. All right, yeah, misstep away, just create some space. There's the RC. Okay, footsies in my guilty year. That's more likely well. than you think. Just going for the throw after the air deal was so smart from MJ because we've been consistently going for a button into a mix up with this fighter or a guard crush. Nikolai was not expecting a throw to come in that scenario. Mm. Okay, a little anti-air action there with 6B. Dashes up and finds the throw. Slipping in that th strike though as often as they can. Ooh. That was a very tricky dash. I'm feeling that. <laughs> That's mine now, thank you. My k doesn't quite work out the way that they were looking for it too. Jumps forward, and has an opportunity to look for Chip now. Uh oh, but here we go. Risk Gage is going to start to get cranked, especially with that wild assault, but a beautiful, well-placed backdash. And just like that, MJ is up 2-1 now. Yeah, MJ, something has changed since the uh, since the, the dawn of the first game here. They've been looking much more in control. And Nikolai has been, maybe it's just the adjustments from MJ that's making it look that way, but Nikolai has also looked a little more hesitant in a lot of offensive situations. Yeah, I think so too. A lot more, you know, uh, giving up turns or being a little more cautious because we've been consistently yeah. getting poked out. Yeah, not being as willing to risk it all, right? You're looking a little more nervous about coin flips than you should. All right, just goes for the DP there, stealing the turn back. I'd like to see more DPs from Nikolai as well. I think it's a lot of reward off of DP, especially when you're down in the corner or there's a card on you. If you see that Miss Finer stuff or something come out, or you see Johnny putting pressure on you, oh my god, never mind, don't DP anymore. <laughs> Be a little more careful. Anti-Beat Driver again gets the poke 2S. 
Things working out pretty well, but it reads the normal for the second time. It's able to completely ID out, but unfortunately, one good read is not going to be enough to save you here. You should die on the wall break, and does. Yeah, just enough there for Nikolai to do your good job conserving that meter to cash it all out at once. But there's the 6k, the sweet chin music. Doesn't get the confirm off of it, but that's fine. Still has Nikolai right where he wants him. Yeah, absolutely wakes up with the super. We've seen this a couple times, and it's been a shockingly high hit rate from MJ as it works out once again and looks for the jump in, but the trade ends up going in his favor. Yeah, MJ's got a pretty good read on when Nikolai wants to press or, or keep the offense going, right? That's why we're able to get those first supers out. And there you go again, calling out the, the special move, right? Obviously, that wouldn't have worked against the hoof stomp, but it is definitely going to work against the stun dipper. Looks for the poke. Not going to work out in his favor. 2S dashes forward. That little stagger ends up putting a lot more room than I thought it was going to here. Sets up the card. It makes Nikolai back a little bit more, but 6P wins again. Here we go. Guard Crush gets caught trying to press. Oh my god, bro. 50, 50, 50, 50. Which way do you block? MJ takes it. It's so cheap, dude. This is Luna. The community wants more Bridget. For sure they do it. They, by god, they're gonna get her. But of course, the World Tournament Series is over for all these games. It's a fresh new year, which means these players are ready to grind. So here we go. High pressure right off the bat, just trying to go for the Bridget mix-up. Nice XP. Yep, anti-air definitely will be clean. Double pokes in a row doesn't find much, but maintaining pressure is really all that matters in this spot. You do not want to let her get away. Don't let her claim that space back. We're able to get the connection and force the burst out. Oh, but BRC forward trying to go for a DB. Nice RC in response there to get the punish. All right, into the wall break. There's the round. Clean stuff from Lapland, getting round number one here. Couple pieces of pokes there. Tries to go for the fall through, a little Sonic Adventure action with a rolling attack, does find the connection. Goes for the jump and looks for the cross up, ends up getting to hit in the second, uh, in the second side. Oh, well, there we go, kickstart my heart, catching you trying to backdash, but the burst comes out. And there we go, rolling attack, a perfect right on the board. Lapland taking game number one. A strong showing, being able to, you know, keep it aggressive. That's one of the scariest things about the mirror match is that you know your opponent has the same kind of strength as you, that loopable 50-50 pressure with incredibly strong movement. Uh, Bridge of the character that, uh, I don't know, I feel like her DP is good enough to work in this matchup but it's it's scary i feel like it's a scary task to utilize it correctly yeah it is because it's a dp that obviously having a reversal like that to get the pressure off you is good but it doesn't do a lot of damage yeah. which you know compared to a lot of other dps the risk reward is a lot scarier in that scenario Ends up winning the day on the counter poke a couple times in a row. Goes for the RC, but doesn't get much for it. Stops the IED, though, and keeps that corner pressure. Oh, but goes for the bear dive. Okay. Oh, and then the 2H gets caught. 5H comes through. Great stuff there. Taking the round. Luna starting to fight back. Trades, better anti-air, forces the burst. Went down around here, but opportunity starting to rise itself a little bit at a time. Kickstart, actually spaced well, but still gets the counter hit afterwards, forces the burst. You see, just trying to jump in the corner, creates a space, throw out that JH, but finally gets locked down. BRC into the DP, and it's been a lot of BRC DP, right? Just to kind of see what your opponent is doing, see if the DP is actually going to be safe enough to come out. But wow, moral counter with the 2H is huge. Yeah, 
Okay. Dude, and the mix-up pressure just continues at every single turn has been able to find the touches one-to-one -one on the rounds. Really important swing game for Luna, though. You gotta get back into this. Oh, both of them are the same brain cell going for the IED in, but Luna going for the JD, the faster normal here. And a lot of this is trying to control the space of that screen with the yo-yo. You saw right there, the moment that uh, Luna realized the yo-yo wasn't the projectile one, he immediately tried to kickstart my... <laughs> oh, speaking of kickstart my heart, gonna catch the rolling attack. Oh, DP from way too far away. That's another one of the risks is Bridget's range is just so good that you, it's a lot of the times you can be pressured from ranges where the DP just isn't effective even if you want to risk it. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's so uncomfortable to deal with, especially how safe a lot of Bridget's pressure is once she gets you knocked down and gets that yo-yo rolling. But like you mentioned, 5H. 5H is like the god button for Bridget to stay oh, yeah. at a safe range with punish so many different things as well and get a lot of her offense started off of it. Duel one. Let's rock. Counter. Right, the start gets the counter, forces the burst. Even with the side switch, it's not going to matter too much. Dash is to be very aggressive. Doesn't quite find the range they were looking for, though, but does get some plus frame. It's a plus situation off the rolling attack. Plus the Prime as well from Seeker of Truth. Thank you for choosing us. Oh, we got the lows. Okay, just goes for the reset straight into the throw. A little extra charge in the rolling attack to bait out the DP. Huge stuff there from Lapland Uppies. And closing out the round with the Roger Rolla now sitting at set point. Vulcanac gets the sweep. Empty low, forces the burst. The burst crosses somehow. It looked like she was going to be going back to mid screen. Not going to matter though, keeping that pressure up. I feel like so, so much of this set, for neutral at least, has been 5H and Kickstart My Heart, right? Yeah. Relying so much on it just to get away from the yo yo, stop any kind of advancing pressure, blow up any rolling attacks, but a perfect comes through. That is going to be it. Lap land uppies taking it. 3-0 over Luna. Strong stuff from Lap land, obviously. Working out really, really well. SQ, the queen of Ramlethal Valentine here. Immediately just trying to go for that mid-screen pressure. And yeah, you see, Barrack already understands the matchup. Utilizing things like 5k to move yourself forward and avoid the sword explosion is a huge part of this matchup. Alright, I mean, look at the damage. Good follow-throughs. Has 50 meter. Gets the connection. Is able to go for the cancel with the RC. That'll do it. Yeah, a clean round, just like that. <laughs> All right. Ooh, 5K blowing up the 2D attempt. Man, when you see it actually get hit by normals, you realize how high it actually goes with 2D. Once again, in a position to be guessing for the rest of your life total. Too far for the throw. Barrick attempts, but best super will do the deed. A perfect for SQ and the game securely to the Ramathal. Yeah, but we saw some good ideas there from Barrick in the, like, when it comes to the matchup knowledge. Just unfortunately wasn't winning out in, in the neutral game. And that's the big part. If you can't beat Ram in the neutral game, you're not even getting past go. Here we go. Game number two. Let's see how Barrick is going to respond. Immediately goes for the 5K, right? We don't want to play neutral. We want to go right in and start establishing our own pressure. That's one way to circumvent the matchup. Big use of the rock there. Big use the poke. Trades with the 2D, but it's a trade you're happy to take. Doesn't quite find the whip punish they were looking for, though. Dude. <laughs> 
Turn steal after turn steal after turn steal. Yep. No opportunity to go for the DP. It looked like wasn't feeling confident enough in it. And that is going to cost you a grip of your life bar. One situation left again. But with a small execution error, it looked like there. Oh, but gets hit by the back turn. K. Massive hit from Eric. Oh no, you had the meter. This is scary. Having a 100 meter and not going for the RC in that scenario, but what a punish! Able to punish the heavy slash there with the Berserker Barrage. Yeah, good knowledge to be able to spend that meter for something super effective. DP ends up costing the burst there. Gets the connection. A good hit confirm again to be able to close that distance, but a SQ with a jump back finds a knockdown, but we're starting to be a little more aggressive on our reversals. A little more aggressive, we'll say. Twice in a row. All right, but now it gets flipped by the run through. Again, stuck in the blender. I mean, no meter to be able to defend yourself. No burst. Uh, doesn't really have uh, access to the push block there. Uh, you're at the mercy of Leo. <laughs> Not much to really do there. Yeah, really unfortunate, but that's... It's only 1-1. One, one. SQ was pretty much firmly in control in game number one. Barrack obviously making some really strong adjustments there. Uh, circuit betting neutral by just going ham, right? Just rush in as fast as possible. That'll do it. Let's see if we can maintain that. SQ, she's so good at adapting. We see her in nearly, nearly every Dual single top one. eight. She enters in TNS. Okay. Right puts these out. Look for the guard point stance. Ends up catching the low. Wild assault straight to the wall. Should be able to get the break. A little best super action. Be able to send us a hard knockdown. Oh my god. Beautiful conversion. Beautiful routing there. Straight into the laser. That is absolutely death. Another perfect for SQ. The momentum, once it starts to build up, is just too crazy. Gets the hit, but doesn't get the confirm. Misses the flash kick. Yeah, I like that. Creating a little bit of space there. Just getting the whiff punish on the 2D is huge. Yeah, and you have to stick out the button to prevent Barrett from going for something like a 5K to get out, or that's just dash block, right? You want to force them to block the explosion. Just trying to preemptively put out these buttons, get some kind of a hit going. Was he just wave dashing? <laughs> Maybe. Either way. Oh, look for something. But again, SQ, once you're able to maintain that amount of distance, is able to just kind of swing on the way down. Doesn't have the sword, though. That's going to be a 2D. Yeah, uncommon situation there for SQ. Swinging without the sword available. No punish on the whiff throw attempt. Still safe. Still has burst. So SQ has slowed the pace down of this match considerably. So many of these back dashes just staying at that effective range, pulling out the two Ds from Barrack and punishing them accordingly. Has managed to put a game on the board, but uh, just with the amount of dominance SQ has been able to show, I'm not sure what the turnaround is going to be here. I love what I'm seeing, though, so far. The adjustments from SQ have worked out beautifully. Dual I don't think Barrick is going to be able to lean on 2D Red nearly rock. as much anymore as kind of a neutral skip option. We're going to have to force our way in through dashing and go for something a little bit more safe to get SQ to block. Couple 2Ks. Staggers, we dash up. Doesn't find much. Whiff, punish. He gets a throw. Oh, uh oh, no. what's the Oh, and the sword hits, so it's gonna be able to get the full conform to the corner. There we go, windshield wiper set point now for SQ. Going as we find the cross up here, overhead connects. 
and is able to go for the super hard knockdown once again, saving the full burst. Big opportunity for Barrick once again. Yeah, just knocking at the door there. Oh my god, you had it literally all week to punish that whip throw. <laughs> Uh-oh, backdash gets caught by the rock, though. Back into the corner. Slow and steady with the pokes, just seeing how Barrick is going to react, it feels like. Yep, it's the Wild Salt, get the hard knockdown. Looking for the finish here, has the RC. Oh. Use it for the sword. High low does not quite work out the way they were expecting. YRC earns a turn, though. That was actually a really good scenario for Bear to go for a YRC, right? Utilizing it off the sword explosion in order to just negate the mix up coming from SQ. Great awareness. But BRC catching the back dash here. Can you squeeze out enough damage to kill with the wall break? It should be enough. And there it is. 3 1 SQ. There's gonna be a lot of good ones. Don't worry. There's too many good ones. There's too many. We can't have them all as much as I would love to. I got I got my day job tomorrow, Jobber. Me too. Wait, no, I don't. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> 2K2D works out at the beginning here, but Rat is able to get uh, get stood up pretty much immediately here. Finds the counter hit, forces the burst. Oh, here we go. Hair car pickup. Knockdown right on in with the bad moon. I know Rat, Rat is excited for tomorrow. One more Dude, day. True. We're sticking that foot out in one more day. That move. <laughs> I, I think I like Twitter's reaction to that move more than the move. We'll get to that after the match. So. <laughs> Goes for the flip. It's not quite close enough. Has to go for the PRC, but Capel gets them completely out of the way. The air throw does not find its mark. That's going to be the first round here for Rat now. Trying to go for that whip punish. Dang, I just noticed her hair does the same thing with 2D, right? It's just the chicken leg. Oh, catch the back dash there with the close slash. This is going to be huge. Are we going for the wall break or another mix-up? Wall break it is. Yep, certainly the right decision. Opportunity with the meter, but no. Gives too much room. That's a DP. Beautiful escape. Using the Capel low to the ground also just to make a lot of extra room. He gets the fireball, but it was already too close to get the punish. That's okay. Poke, far slash, very nice. Close slash. Twice in a row it connects. Chips away a ton of the life bar there. Rat smart to save the burst. Around a piece. Yeah, but look, Rat still has burst, like you mentioned, on the other side compared to Grandino. Which means they have that get out of jail free card and they've already gotten the first blood. Uses it to keep the pressure going in the corner. Badman with no meter. The rat classic. Nice whip punish. Spacing has been really nice here for Grandino. Oh, but the JS right before you hit the ground. Looking the dome there. Winger through. IDFD was beautiful, but we tried to go for the air throw, and that is going to prove to be our... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> it was a weird interaction with that super only at one time. Yeah, definitely not what I was expecting to see, but you know, it, it works out in the end. Yeah, I guess just a little too close, and Grandino was just a little too high. But either way, Rat does take game number one. Yeah, definitely hot on the momentum. And like you said is uh, on the verge of having uh, even another tool for Milia to work out. I mean, they just were like, you know, Axel's, uh, Axel's uh, what is it? Is it Rainwater where we jump backwards? Ah, Milia yes. probably needs that too. <laughs> Again, we'll get into that in a minute. Milia Rainwater, and it won't bounce. <laughs> oh my god. Knockdown, that's disc, looking good. Same side, and then backs off. Is willing to play a little bit more footsies, which is obviously not where you want to be against Kai, but Rat is confident to be able to reset things at a farther screen situation. Oh, there we go. Beautiful 2K2D. Rat is so on point with the spacing of his normals. 
Ooh, the Lush Shaker there. That is going to give up your turn. I guess you were trying to go for some kind of cheeky... Uh, oh, you speaking got cheeky. Of, speaking of cheeky, <laughs> good god. Till BRC gets the full confirm. Ends up spending the burst here. Wants to fight for the round and fight for the round. We will. 6P wins the day. Should break the wall and take the kill and does the guaranteed damage from the Shatter is good and Grandino is better. Let's see if Grandino can tie things up 1-1 one, one, though. Oh, deep chasing with the close slash. Bro, the routing from Rat Wild Assault to score the knockdown. Stud with the prime, dude. Thank you. Four months. Appreciate you. <laughs> Nasty work. I don't even know which side that hit or that one. Yeah, Capel ends up working out and then just a 6P to close it. Rat with a little bit of a mixtape there ends up getting around. Grandino almost has the burst, though. Rat should be able to get theirs back before the round is over. OTG, and gets the wall stick just barely. Yeah, phenomenal routing. Trying to chase Melee up to the sky. You saw that JP. 5D is going to get blocked. Ooh, that was really nice for Future Arc. Just forcing Rat to block. Trade anti air tap dust! What? Alright, able to defend, but still just getting caught in all of these unfortunate scenarios. And Rat finally finds the hit, which means Grandino is going to burst. Rat is a nut, allow... dude. <laughs> oh my god, you can't allow Rat to get up 2 0 on you. Close slash, bad mood, nice block. Oh, and the DP had the meter. Why not? I was waiting for it for so long. Finally pulls the trigger. Yeah, I, I think that was the first DP of the set, right? A t a only two, and they both connected. Dude, dude. That's right. I mean, Gradino was definitely just waiting for the moment that Rat's feet left the ground and was just ready to buffer the DP and let it rip. Can I just say again, though, that whole last sequence, Rat is a nut. Rat is just like yeah. spending all of the air resources to be able to get as aggressive as possible, recognizing the life total is super skewed against them, wants to play aggressive, wants to take a risk. The risks were paying off until again, that final DP finds its mark. Oh my God, 5H counter hit start, at round start. That was crazy, but doesn't matter to Rat. Let's the first rim starts running the pressure. Can end mid screen, but that's totally fine for Milia as long as you leave yourself with room for the mix. Gets the wall stick, gonna go for the winger. Okay, focus good. RC even better. Gotta get the wall stick, spend the wild assault. Hard knockdown is exactly what you need in this spot. The meter for Rat though. Close slash doesn't find its mark. Rat gets the confirm. That was oh. all because Grandino stuck out the 5P, extended their own hurt box there. All runs right into the low. And look at the patience from Rat. We have the life lead, right? You don't need to do anything too risky. Pressure in the corner, hold the FD where you can. Don't want to spend all of your meter on defense. You have to buy some rune. Bad Moon gets the hit. Full follow up here with the super. And he kills. A lot of backdashes getting caught. A lot of backdashes of Grandinos are getting caught here by that close slash. The deep running. You're seeing Rat go for a lot of deep running close slashes there. Trying to either catch a backdash or a delayed button press from Grandino. And it's really working out in a big way. I mean, it's one of the strongest options to be able to escape, uh, like, a certain situations, right? Obviously, when Disc is involved, uh, the, the script changes a little bit. But if it just turns into strike throw, as we've seen in countless matchups, Backdash is just such an effective tool if you're not scouting it. Land same side with the JH. DP! Yup. If he's the bad moon, you're a madman. 
Wow, second time knockdown worked out perfectly. Dashes up for 5k, gets the connection for the second time. There we go, plus frames as well, thanks to the shock state. And again, the five feet getting blown up by, by Capel. It's just honestly incredible the spacing that the rat has. He gets the counter hit, goes straight into the super. That is insult to injury here. Close last 6P winger. <laughs> Combos you don't see often in the mid screen. There you go, dash up, find the throw. A little disrespectful on the start there. Love it to see it. Oh, yeah, we tried to go for some kind of fast RC drift there to get a pickup, but didn't quite have enough momentum on it. Not going to matter, though. This is going to be enough to close out the game. Rat takes it 3-1. Yeah, and a perfect and Then the opponent, and this is definitely one of them. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely one of them for sure. But Red Eye not, they have a lot of experience in this matchup. I'm sure Dig also has a lot of experience against Gold Lewis. And there it is, White Wild Assault, the great equalizer. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much experience you have. It doesn't matter how ready you think that you are when White Wild Assault comes knocking. You know, I think Red was uh, was inspired by that last match, inspired by Rat. <laughs> oh my god, that is a cleanup. There it is, White Wild Assault hits its mark again. Just a little bit of a delay there to see if Dig is going to go for a button press or a rolling attack. Overhead Behemoth twice in a row. Really good wall. timing from jump uh, from the jump in for Red. Delaying that to make sure everything was going to work out and get the maximum frame advantage you could on that knockdown. Dude. Bro. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I... What... what? What you're do you playing, say about that? You're Even playing neutral half screen away from me? <laughs> Talking a lot of crap for someone in White Wallace all range. Oh my god. You just get turned into a pair of coordinates on a map, dog. The mortar strike is coming and you don't have answers for it. <laughs> White Wild Assault is crazy. You know, I... How, how you adjust White Wild Assault, right? To make it not terrible, but still make it okay is the big question. I feel like the start is maybe uh, decreasing the range a little bit. <laughs> no, I honestly keep the range. Let's rock. It'll be fun. Nerf it other ways. Unironically, they need it, but not this good. <laughs> Just make it a little worse, but keep the range, please. All right, here we go. It's only a matter of time. All right, spends the burst though. We just went out of the corner, send the drone. And now the big man slowly has to approach. That's the thing. You gotta be careful about taking unnecessary risks, right? In this matchup as Bridget, you wanna play as safe as possible because that's where you are going to excel. Just start to run the mix up game. Don't do anything too crazy. I like that. Tries to go for the throw, didn't have any meter to back it up. Roger doesn't quite actually secure the wall break. IBFD gets some room, but I don't know, really, even with this amount of space, how can you even get back into this? Yeah, you're not going to. That's exactly how. Dig with a dominating round there. Of course, we didn't see any White Wild Assault at all from Red. If Flair has White Wild Assault, I'm, I'm retired. Chad, <laughs> someone just said it, I'm done. <laughs> You don't need that. Give him the blue one. This player's definitely getting blue. <laughs> All right, there's the RC rolling attack again. Great defense here from Red, but finally gets clipped by the 2S. It's a counter hit on top of that. Oh, good whiff punish there. Trying to swing for the fences. YRC is blocked, and unfortunately, that is a kill. Good answer from Dig. Two dominant rounds in a row to be able to restabilize after what I mean. Red they had a pretty ridiculously stacked momentum uh, filled first game, so really, really good turnaround from Dig to be able to restabilize. Absolutely. Someone in chat saying uh, Diozine saying, uh, "Oh no, no, not Diozine. Who was it? 
a Jasper. Could you imagine backdash cancel white wild assault? That's exactly why Slayer will not have backdash cancels in strong. <laughs> white, uh, why blue? Because I don't think Slayer has white. Uh, we'll have the white one. And I don't think based on the gameplay styles as we find a knockdown uh, that red will will suit. I feel like he's one of those uh, characters that'll fall into the blue category. Hey, still, Just blue, blue wild assault with the guard crush and the dandy step would be kind of fire. But here we go. 5H getting red and getting rid of Oh. Anti-air coffin. Wow. <laughs> Here comes the boy. Good to see you. White Wild Assault. A little too far. Still fine, though. Just do it again. Why not? <laughs> yeah, but the problem, though, that time Dig was in the air, which means we got pushed way back. Not going to matter, though, if you find the jump in with JD right over the yo-yo toss. Beautiful confirm with the two Ks back to back. Oh, and the recall the yo-yo actually interrupted the uh, the counter punch attempt from Red there. You're seeing Dig taking the skies a lot too. Oh no! Uh -oh. Yeah, and taking to the skies is pretty good because if you do block White Wild Assault in the skies, like we said earlier, you get sent pretty far away, and that's where Bridget is going to excel in this matchup. But Red is going to go up two one now. The triple behemoth <laughs> is able to get the pickup, get the full confirm. Oh man, it has been back and forth between the two. The offense is too crazy. <laughs> it's stressful. This matchup was so stressful because it's like when Bridget wins, it's like three or four calculated hits that loop Oki together. And when it's Gold Lewis that wins, there's a gap of some kind, and they just swing the coffin for their life. And if it hits, it's going over the fence. Yeah, absolutely, MA. There's the hit right there. Just immediately going right in. And your life bar. Oh my god. This is what Break I'm talking the about. Glasses. It's going over the fence no matter what. Look at the life total. Yeah, over the fence and through the glass. Now positive bonus. How does Dig get out of this? We have burst, but obviously we don't spend it. Uh, no, this round is too far gone. <laughs> A little unfortunate there for Dig, but again, still has burst. Whoa. Wow. We are what a swinging. What a read there from Red on the yo-yo. Trying to get that home run. Oh, I respect that. Dig. <laughs> Dig, look back. <laughs> I was like that. Oh, there's the bear dive. Uh, you know what? I mean, hey, teabagging in fighting games is a lost art. Let's be honest. <laughs> hey, I don't know what games you watch. Gets the connect. Has meter. Gets IBFT all the way out, though. Skyfish not going to find its mark, but a good idea. Oh, no. Just spent 50 meter to put yourself in to the dead zone. And there it is. OTG. Red, I am not. They take it 3-1. I believe this is going to be a top eight qualifier Ooh. for winner's side. Society. Okay, so already on to the top eight qualifiers. That is very exciting to get to see. We're going to be showing you most of those as we cut our way through. Hazen with some big wins. Hazen actually coming off a win over Krieg, who Krieg yeah. is historically very good in the mirror. So I'm excited to get to watch Hazen play here. Absolutely. Especially in a matchup that, you know, can be difficult here for Leo. He has his very own MFCR. I'm putting in a lot of good work recently here, though. So here's the corner, though. DP is blocked. First comes out. Just take that time to get one extra bullet in. Manage those resources. Oh, that was tricky. Probably messed it up, but still was able to recover and score a hit. Great job baiting out the DP, but leaves yourself wide open. When the gun is out, the drop tips come out. Yeah, especially in spots like that where uh, your opponent hasn't quite put up the clone because the clone is very effective in those la those later round situations where you have enough health to spare to get a full uh, full durability clone. Take your options when they're given. 
Our knockdown. Oh my god, just checking with the back turn. K hitting the back dash as well with that heavy slash. You can see Hayden a little frozen here, just worried. That was so cheap. That was so cheap. Burst actually does come through, but there's still a fireball to be able to make its mark. And MFCR are so good at those point blank fireballs, right? Just to try and catch you off guard and also using it as a shield. I f Why was I so surprised by axe kick into th PRC throw? Because that was it was so early. sick. <laughs> That's why, because he did it in game number one. That feels like something you don't pull out right out of the box, right? That's something you kind of save for a little bit deeper into set once the conditioning has been set, but we just threw it out. It says, you know what? You're going to have to think about that now every single time I'm back turned in the corner and have 50 meters. Shout out to MFCR for that for the Haiku reference on the in-game name, by the way. Strong, strong showing. Yeah. <laughs> 2D not quite going to find its mark. Hazen going to get a big confirm for it. Gets the wall stick. Deus X full reload. Here's the question. Do we just set the curse up? No, we're going to go in immediately into the low. Cover yourself with the gunshot. There's the tick throw. Put you through the wall one more time. Should still be alive. Yeah, but this is just a nightmare. Look at the life total. Nothing really to do on this one. Just going to take aim straight away. Curse was already applied. Full re reload on the bullets. Plenty of focus. No reason not to. Hazen, great recognition of the situation. Just close it out. Oh, and there it is. Anti-air 5 p That's going to be another good moment for Slayer, you know what I'm saying? Stop. I'm going to be obnoxious, so I'm sorry. Boy is daydreaming. Uh -oh, Straight to super. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> good night, sweet friends. Going into this next round with 100 burst as well. Yep, we spend it right away. Don't let Hazen get that momentum. Also, yeah. buy some time for you to build it back again. I was going to say, yeah, if this round goes super long, you have the potential to maybe get it back. But with a start like this, it, like it might not have to go long. A little brain blast, but we DP the roll attempt. Ooh, overhead, right on the dome. Still maintaining that corner positioning with all this meter as well. Uh, spends it, just gets tossed for trouble. The shoot up still not enough, but like we said, it's able to get access to the burst now. Mm. Yeah, there we go. The throw, Hazen tying things up one one. Leo doesn't care what you do, he's just gonna keep on rushing in. Absolutely, that's what Leo does. He is the Hajimino Ippo of Guilty Gear Strive. It's his Man, job. keeps the head tucked and just goes forward. Good recognition from Hayes in the end of the round, by the way. Burst coming back, recognizing how much life total, uh, how much life was on the table. Uh, a simple throw is more than enough there, and you kind of disable the burst, not even letting it be an option. Good man for the risk. Also had 50 meters, so even if that throw doesn't connect, you just go for the RC. Percentage play. Dual one. <laughs> what a start there. Take a look at the roll. Didn't get much for it. Finds a knockdown for the second time. He misses 2S, ends up whipping. Burst puts in the corner. A lot of action to start the round. Ends up with MFCR. Disadvantage on resources, advantage on positioning, but all of a sudden that gets turned on its head as well. Hazen, everything going in their favor. Yeah, this hard knockout with positive bonus is going to be huge as well. Full bullets, looking good on resources, but the DP. MFCR does not care how far ahead you are. If we have 50 meter, we are sending it. I always think it out. I always think of the tweet. The, <laughs> the, I don't care what kind of tech you bring out. I'm gonna just DP it. Y'all gonna hate it. <laughs> oh good. And the DP hitbox is so huge. That's the thing, right? You feel like you can bait it out, but you still get forced to block, and now you are in the mix up. Point stance couldn't quite find its mark. Tries to go for the run through, ends up on the same side. Good block on everything, but you're cornered, and 2D finds its mark. Still, just the routing that we're going for to keep dropping the opponent back up against the wall. That is huge for MFCR. Also, really specific in this matchup, too, right? Breaking the wall against Happy Chaos, a lot of the time, unless you have the super to do it, is not a good idea because you're going back to neutral. And there it is! Last ride, Power Bomb! 
Away with the deflect shield, rolls through, gets the hit to the corner. Full reload, hard knockdown. Focus, looking a little worse for wear, but we're able to get a curse if we want it. No, we're just gonna dash up, I like this. Sick throw. Uh oh. Bet Darmir just get blown up, but a beautiful throw again from Hazen. They got the burst, and now we're taking the lead. Yeah, MFCR just tried to throw in a little bit of a delay to have a better opportunity with the burst there. Unfortunately, for MFCR at least, Hazen was just so ready and so committed to waiting, especially because Happy Chaos's combos put you so high in the air. Uh, it puts you into really awkward situations where you're trying hard to get value and not get put on a poster, but it makes it, it's really awkward for both players, but still advantage Happy Chaos on, uh, on those weird high combo opportunities. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we know that this is a good matchup for Happy Chaos, right? Uh, MFCR has taken down many Happy Chaos players, but still, it is always an uphill climb. And especially a Happy Chaos that was able to take down Krieg in the mirror. <laughs> Hazen looking incredibly strong. Beautiful confirm there off of the throw into the fast RC. We've been consistently going in. This time, though, we... Whoa! All right, we set up the curse and then immediately rushed in just to meet MMCR halfway. Tag better DP. Look at the life total here. Spends the burst just to secure it. I definitely respect the decision for sure. Make sure you get the round. You have plenty of time to get that burst back. Set point. CR is going to have to dig deep now. Got to make these adjustments. You got to make them fast. There's not much time anymore. Catches the jump with the 5K. Punish on the throw, actually. The delay, overhead attempt. Pressure maintained. Nice, just blocking the punish. Throws himself back into the corner. DP punishes the attempt at the ID out. And there it is. DP again blows up the wild assault. And now Hazen going into this next round with no burst on deck. No, oh, the reaction time gets the connection with the slash in the back turn stance twice in a row. It's just so smooth on the unstance there. Loads on over that is there's no. Oh my god, bro. MFCR. Yeah, bringing it back, bringing it back in a big way there, pulling all of the tricks out of the hat. <laughs> I haven't seen that one, I don't think. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Definitely did not use it in this <laughs> game, for sure. Yep, Tempest is absolutely correct. There is no high there. <laughs> you just, you, look, you know how it is. The moment that you see BRC, you're expecting to get domed. <laughs> so you, Dude, absolutely. No one spends up. meter to do some weird low, I feel like. You're always expecting the high. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, connection, very nice. Push to the wall, gets the curse, actually perfectly lands. Yeah, it, it ain't about the high actually being there. It's about your you <laughs> thinking the high it's is the, there. It's the fear, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Backdash avoids the throw, takes aim. Who oh, has to go for the PRC, maintains pressure because of it, though. That's definitely huge. One bullet in the chamber, make it two. RCing off the 2D. Oh my god, what a conversion. I like the MFCR drop kicks the clone and says, you and your boy, and just RCs forward. <laughs> oh my god, just like this though, Proxy. Now turning things around, sitting at set point and is in full control right now. And backs up at the start here. Gets the hit, wild assault, overhead nice block. Oh, the guard point on the Goomba Stomp, that was insane. Hazen recognizing, gotta throw off the burst there, gotta be safe. Tweety, no cancel, not gonna matter, just jumps back, finds the hit, overhead on yep. the crazy side twitch, and then the power bomb to finish! That'll do it, OTG super to kill! <laughs> that was the last ride, all right. 100% of it going to the players, but let's get into the match here, bringing it back to it. Dual one. Milia versus the Anji. 
Walter, definitely another player who is uh, really looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> also, I just want to roll it back. That JS was crazy. The range on that JS. It really was. <laughs> I was prepared to move along, but yeah, you know, while we're talking about it. Did I be there? Buy some room. Lush Shaker just to end the block string there. Dashes up. Looks for the low. Not going to find much, though. And again, just staying as airborne as possible, right? Try to get Max Men's frustrated. Stay in the area where you excel the most. Oh, 2 beat fast RC. Knockdown. Nice block. Gets the tech as well. Had the 50 meter, so it was well worth it the risk. JH blocked this time, but again, look at this. MacMens has been trying to, it's this cat and mouse game, has been trying to chase down Walter, but to no avail, not able to secure any solid hits. Just a few stray ones here and there. Okay, double dash, works out well. Yep, wall splat there with the hair car. We hold on to the meter. Very smart. You want to utilize that for your mix-up game. Or for maybe a super here, it won't kill Anji. I don't think it will. Winger is always a, a strange one. Nope, yeah, that super sucks. <laughs> Definitely always a question mark, but there's one thing you can always be consistent about is that it's not as good as you, it's new, as you ever think it's going to be. Does end up getting the kill either way, though, Walter, taking that one. <laughs> you could tell me it couldn't do one extra damage there. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, Walter looking very, very strong. Just Again, we've said it time and time again. Not being caught, being as slippery as possible with Milia. Walter understands that being in the skies is where Milia is best and has basically stuck in the air most of the game. The only time we're grounded is when we're comboing. <laughs> Dual one. Let's rock. Check a 2D Lush Shaker. Just because Capel's over, actually corners themselves, but is able to use the Capel to get out of the corner in this second situation. Yep, there's the burst early on. Again, Macmillan's just trying to find any momentum that he can. It's just it's so difficult. Counter hits 6-H. Yeah, not getting any easier here. Breaks the wall. Not enough to kill. So has meter, though, and full burst. RC on the first available touch. Yeah, there's another round. Just We're seeing more of the same here, right? Macmans is getting a few stray hits here and there, but isn't able to run any offense. I'm surprised we're not just going for the spin into the, you know, the guard break, the anti -air. I wonder if we just feel like it's too slow to catch it. Okay. Good start. Doesn't actually get the confirm afterwards, though. Look at that, the triple overhead into the fast RC. Macman says, let me out of here, please. Nice routing as well. Is able to end with a pretty decent mix up. Gets the overhead. Get the burst out. Macman. Right Finding this hit is going to be so difficult here again. The Capel, the self alley -oop. Knockdown comes through. Yeah, and the burst at that low of life just shows how confident Walter is that he's going to win in neutral, right? Oh my god, I mean, Bad Moon <laughs> working out wonderfully. And their confidence is being rewarded here, but hold on. Want me, Dara, and just like that, Macmins is finally able to close out a round. All characters are the same in the face of Tap Dust. <laughs> we all fall, listen, we all bleed. Oh, it, the 6P was the right idea, just didn't quite work out. Capel just barely puts Walter high enough to get over it. And now look at all this mix because of it. That's a burst because of the miss 6P. All of it a snowball. Yeah, and you see, we've gone for so many overheads throughout this set that now Walter is just running up and going for 2K. And it is catching Macman's free. And now we go right back into the overheads.
conditioning is working and walter is now up 2-0 maximin showed some good signs of life there but a lot of that round that we won was off of a really well placed counter hit right to get a huge confirm it was mostly one combo that did over half yeah. of walter's health yeah just not getting enough opportunities that i mean that's we broken record we say it all the time the hardest thing about playing against millie is getting opportunities to be able to Ooh, Let's swap okay. okay all right sin my boy i respect it dual one no oh, i do too i think this is an interesting change having access to dp is going to be interesting uh the driver as well but again, that 6P, not going to be the best for anti-airing. Okay, and suspending the burst there. Just doesn't want the wall break to come through. Finds the knockdown on the hit. We're talking about reward on hit. I mean, Sin is another one of those characters where it's only really going to take two correct answers to potentially close rounds. Caught the harassment here with the Capel. Finally catches with the close slash. It's set point now for Walter. Macman's just really has looked lost this entire set. Walter's been so difficult to catch and lock down. 5k, nothing to show for it. Gets out of the corner. Oh, the wall is all whiffing. Backdash does get caught. So close he though. Finds a throw because of it. Dashes up. 2S and then chills. Capel again gets out of the corner. Yeah, you see, we're even trying to go up to chase Millie to the skies, but it's just not working. Oh my god, the guard. Whoa, that was about to be nasty there from Walter. Backdash, but it's going to get blown away by the YRC. Okay, Max Men still in this, has the life lead here. Backdash avoiding that far slash is huge. Disc actually connects. Full follow through. Oh no, and the PRC baits out the burst. Still not going to kill, but we do go for the hard knockdown. This could be the last mix here for Macman. Is able to block it. But the JH falling down right on top of Macman and sending them to the loser side of the bracket. At least one more new character, but. Speaking of new characters, we get to see one of them once again. Not so new these days, but the big man new to Strive. Gold Lewis. Wait, Walter oh gets through right away. Mike says, I've seen the footage. Oh my I God. knew. Mike. He tried to go for a second wild throw. Said there's no strike. It's only throw. DP runs up and DPs through the drone. Okay, this is, uh, is going to be an interesting match. There yeah, we both, go. Gets caught. Both of them very aggressive with their decisions. Red I am not. They are getting the better of this one, though. 6H gets the hit, DP in response. What? <laughs> what a combo. And just runs right into the behemoth type food. We were definitely going for just a run up throw or a run up slash. Again, they are just being super aggressive with the White Wild Assault at round start, as one does, gets the knockdown. Oh, but there's the Wild Assault. DP, good call. 6S actually whipped out. It was a little too early. It looked like Vortex to try and go Ooh. underneath. Here comes the super. Wow. Actually able to connect. And then just immediately goes for the golf swing. Does get blown up, though. Look at this routing coming out from Mike. Gets the wall splat into another Wild Assault. Hard knockdown. Mike is still in this, but Red does have over 50 meter available. There's the PRC. Jumps right out of it. Knew it was coming, but didn't get the pickup. We had the meter there to RC. After it was blocked, but we didn't go for it. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if we just weren't available, like weren't aware, or we were fully expecting it to connect, right? But we were, of course, too high on the first hit. Still, I mean, what a... <laughs> that, was a uh, that was a hell of a first match. I, man, I'm such a soul fan. It's the more Guilty Gear I watch and the more in-depth my knowledge becomes, the more I just think soul is just so cool. I thought he was so boring at first. No, he I've is... learned the error of my ways. He is a very cool character. <laughs>
The man makes you explode. I mean, what's not the light? <laughs> DP barely hits at the top. Burst ends up coming through. Oh, I like it. The bandit bring her right over the drone. You're giving up your turn there. Backing up, trying to bait out that throw. But that's okay. Back dash with gun flame ends up winning out. Gets the 5k into the second gun flame for the knockdown. Wild throw not going to work, but does get the jump over. Bro, I wish you went for wild throw again when red went. <laughs> wild throw with PRC wild throw. Uh oh. No, too far away to get the far slash punish. That is unfortunate there. Could have been a round winning situation for Mike, but we are willing to back dash. Who cares about the danger penalty? Yeah, danger penalty is worth it as long as you aren't blocking drone, but unfortunately, this still doesn't go Bike's way. Broke it through the wall, relatively even on life. Depending on the interactions, could be one uh, one touch for either player. We throw the vortex. Yeah, tries to go for the JH mix up, not gonna work. Just sends out the six H. Ooh. Trying to go for the anti-air. There's the YRC, able to block the behemoth. Burst right in your face. We are so hungry for this round, but we're not gonna get it. Red surviving with the trade. I mean, Red with the goaded reversal, 2P. <laughs> you love to see it. Patience here from Mike. Yeah, doesn't want to get involved with the drone at all. Bro, this damage on Gold Blue. Hello? <laughs> yeah, I was. Hello? Uh, I don't know. Go back oh. at his Vortex hits. <laughs> Ground Viper. Oh my god. All right, there we go. 2P. Yep, just blowing you up. And DT is the great equalizer against Gold Lewis, right? And Mike is definitely willing to send it. Looks for the air to air. One hit 5k actually insists with the pickup there, especially because the big body, White RC, well, excuse me, White RC, White Wild Assault, is trying to get aggressive. Doesn't work out nearly the way we were looking for, but Fafnir is going to apply some good pressure. Yeah, there it is. Wild Assault in again. Let's go to the low. The rising JH right into the dust loop, but we missed the 5k, and now our back is up against the wall. This is devastating. It's a terrible place to be for Mike. Are you dead? No, still alive. Almost has the meter here. You have to live one interaction to be able to get the bar. Oh, danger penalty matters so much here because it was deleting the RC. Fafnir, what's next? Oh, challenging back. Gets the 2k into the behemoth. And Red is able to close out the round going up to... Oh, shouts to Call Me Booey. Booey coming through with four years. Yeah, shouts to the big homie. Hope you've been enjoying yourself. Uh, you've been on the tech grind recently. Good for you. Two games, Red. They're... I mean, they're like, they're winning, but I still want to use the phrase weathering the storm because Mike is a goddamn hurricane, bro. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. A hurricane versus a typhoon, huh? <laughs> absolutely. I mean, at this point, oh, mm -hmm. apocalypse coming through. That feels like what I'm watching on screen right now. <laughs> but just you coming through with the prime, appreciate it. <laughs> it's an absolute storm of damage here. Oh, but only man. one of them can come out on the other side alive. Yeah. Red at the start goes for the jump in. A lot of times it's been White Wild Assault. I like this little mix up that we're going for here. Keeps them in the drone and sets it up for the second time, but DP breaks out. This is a dash of DP. I love it. Right back. Back dash into DP again. Bro, the anti-air vortex. You're... The way that Mike is playing Soul right now, I, I love it. It's so unpredictable, so hyper aggressive. But he knows when to when to pull it back, right? When to pull it back and just walk away. Give the opponent enough room to overextend. Here's he goes for the jump, looks for the air throw. Maybe a miss execution of some kind, or no, no, just no. very ambitious. Definitely a call out because the last time we went for that PRC super, Mike jumped it. Just straight up jumped it. So Red was expecting it again. Twice in a row. 
two white wild assaults in a row into a DP for Mike has been like the standard for red for red's whole burst. Oh my god, that DP hit at what felt like max range. Alright, Bringer, yeah, trying to poke back. It feels like anytime Red goes into the air, Mike is ready with the DP. Mike seems to always be ready with the DP no matter what. Good block. Twice in a row. Oh you my god. Can't let him, you can't let Mike keep getting away with this though. A little bit of bird watching there from Red I am not. Just being unsure about the situation potentially. Either way, Mike is gonna take advantage of it. It's gonna completely clean out that game. Yeah, three free jump-ins like that, Red was definitely scared, right? Scared to press anything just because uh, uh, how dangerous it was. And you saw we tried to go for the 6P there at the end, but we got thrown out of it. So Red was expecting a jump-in on the fourth time, or maybe some kind of delayed button, but Mike decided this time to just go for the throw. nerve-wracking <laughs> the next game coming through two to one the star gets the jump in finds a knockdown for it mike it feels like it's not if but when on these dps and i feel like red is feeling that too this gave mike a lot of rope on that one We're jumping to the other side with me the typhoon Okay, Red in a good position. Potentially close the set here. Two S at the round start though. Gets the confirm and the knockdown all the way to the walls. And a second hit right after. Yeah, but there's the IBFD creating a little bit of space. And again, Mike is just not going to let Red jump in. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the drone's out, we're still gonna DP. Yep, get the guard crush. Reset off the 2K into a throw. Nice PRC super. This time we just go for 2D. Tap dust. Mike staying alive again. Keeping this very close. Almost has the burst now. One wild assault available for red here. I'm not even keeping track of burst. I'm just keeping track of bullets in the chamber. <laughs> Goes to the 2S this time. Look at this block string. The pressure seems to never end. 5D RC. Clean hit DP. Mike is looking to take this to game five. Oh my god, the cross up hits. Wait, so the drone is patient. Maybe too patient here. Vortex ends up coming through into the Fafnir. Forces a burst. Red maybe a little too trigger happy on the burst there. It goes astray and Mike gets the kill for it. What you see, Mike's Mike's wildness is starting to affect Red. Red sending out the drone and then backing up is because Mike was willing to just wake up DP when the drone was on top of him, right? Which you don't normally see from a lot of soul players because you're going to trade with the drone, but Mike is willing to do it. Wow, somehow this has made it to the final game. It has felt like it was potentially over just a couple times in a row, but Mike has somehow kept their head above water. Okay, back and forth between the two, trying to keep it slow in the footsies. One hit of the 5K, all it takes to get to the wall. Red gonna spend the burst. Oh, the JD right over the gun flame. FD buys you just enough room to be able to get out. Danger penalty, but it's not going to matter with Mike finding the hit again. Gets out of the corner, though. Nope, but there's the YRC. Try to immediately swing the Behemoth Typhoon, but answers right back with the White Wall Assault. <laughs> what? 
meaty behemoth. No, thank you. <laughs> Go straight for the DP. Please let me out. Let me out. How polite. Mike is on set point. How did this happen? Honestly, just. <laughs> Mike has been so unpredictable, so unrelentless, and, and no fear. No fear, willing to DP in places where other men would be too afraid. There's the clash with the DP. Oh, and the Skyfish for the knockdown gets the second confirm. Look at the life total now, Red. You want to get out of this one without spending that other half of your burst if you can, and one swift elbow will be enough to do it. Final round between the two. And remember, we talked about with the matchup against Leo, the great equalizer, the big thing that makes the matchup so difficult for Goldus against Leo is the flash kick, right? Mike is bringing that in in his own way with Soul's SDP. Beautiful anti-air there with the close slash. Gonna squeeze out so much damage off of this. Gonna opt to spend the burst rather than the RC. Oh, generally the correct option when you see from a lot of these players here. Has an RC for the mix-up, blocks the YRC, but does he get a punish? No, we dashed in too deep. Red was able to recover in time. Still not in a good spot. Deflect shield gets tossed. A hundred meter on Mike's side. Red not able to survive. Oh, the DP just kills the last hit plus the guaranteed shatter damage is enough. And Mike on a hell of a comeback. <laughs> Only one person enjoys You know what? That's okay, though. He, he deserves to have some yeah, fun. There you go. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Here we go. MJ versus MFCR to kick things off. And an immediate dash forward round start throw. Okay. Tries to go for the throw again, but this time has the RC to cover it. And there it is, just waiting for the flash kick to finally come out. Far slash immediately into the knockdown. Yeah, wake up with the super, right? The moment that you see Chani try to go for the guard break, you can utilize your super to go straight through it. And with a super like Leo's, it is going to reach far enough. And just like that, MFCR is immediately in the driver's seat with the hard knockdown. NJ about to have to block for his life. There it is, throw, OTG with the super. Quick round one, and that's the thing about Johnny. You can see how fast things can turn around. MJ was in full control from the start of that round, getting that opening throw. All it took was one reversal super. All right, we need to go 2K2D this time. Set the card. I don't think MJ is going to make the same mistake twice, right? If MCR has meter available, we're not just going to try and go for that guard break setup. Here we go. Yep, just walks in this time. That was an opportunity where MJ could have set up a card, but you saw what happened last time, so MJ just opts to get close. Next round, immediately 6-H. Huge pickup. Put you into the corner with the card. Delay on the 2-H. Oh, but we vault right into the flash kick. Still, these backdashes into far slash have been really solid for MJ. Not enough to score the kill, though. We missed our super. That was tragic there, missing the super input. Don't let it happen to you, MJ. <laughs> the RC to grab the parry was so clean. What a call out from MJ. With the meter available, just doing it. So MJ taking game number one here in this winner semis of top eight. I mean, it's going to take a lot of, you know, interesting tricks like that from MJ to come out on top against MFCR. It only looked like it was going to be a stagger throw. It was going for the dash up. Ends up getting the DP, though. Close to the corner. FD doesn't buy you that much room, but the punish throw into the wall. This is huge, but not big enough, apparently. 2D in response against the burst. Okay. Look out through, gets the hit. Converts on the card, doesn't get the kill though. Even with all this meter, didn't have a way to really make it work. Red RC blocks the low. 
MFCR, the defense at every single stage, whether it's the blocking or being able to bust out of these options with the DP, they're looking so strong. Oh, good use of the fireball, good use of the distance, closed, and dude, Sylvan is coming through with a $47 direct contribution, puts us up to $100 in the match arena. Thank you so much for the very generous contribution, thank you so much. Still working the corner, plenty of meter for MJ. How we want to spend this here? Catch below, gets the kill. MFCR, no reason to spend the burst at that point. The round is pretty much over. That's gonna set us to the final round, though. MFCR, a must-win here. But not a great start as the shatter already comes through. No wild salt, no hard knockdown though. Wall wakes up with a super. Listen, you are not the only one that has the reversals, my man. Good follow up. Wow, and just cleanly lands the jump in afterwards. Sets up the card, catches the backdash with the card, and that's going to be another super. Joker's trick to blow it through. MJ takes another one, two in a row. The Johnny hopes are rising. I mean, MFCR, again, defensively has played very well. It's just, it just hasn't been enough. Whether it's the DPs or the way that he's blocking, it has been strong. And MJ has been in full control so far up 2-0. Looking so clean in this matchup. Yeah, I felt like it was uh, just <laughs> more the same. Not too much tricks either, just a, a standard playing neutral incredibly well. Ends up spending the burst. Half a burst in exchange for the full one there from MJ. I will say, this is the only character uh, I've ever been able to take the game off of MCR with, is Johnny. Here we go, pressure is on now. MCR turning it up to 11. What a round, nearly a perfect. 5K puts the boot out, answering back with the DP. Yeah, catching backdash is going to be really important too, right? Because Johnny Johnny likes to backdash a lot for his space. Wow, 2D, close the distance, burst. Actually works out it's as far as the timing of the spacing goes. 6P wins the day. MFCR going to finally get a game on the board here with the pillar. Yeah, that is a <laughs> that is a hell of a way to answer back, right? When you're down 2-0. Yeah, I mean that's uh one I feel like one of the strengths of MFCR is that regardless of set count, he generally just plays the same. Whether it is a, a super high risk situation uh, in a top eight type of setting, or he's playing in pools, he will like kind of play defense, play offense, go for DPS in a very similar manner, which I think generally is a strength. It's consistent, right? Yeah. Dual one. Just the consistency. All right, goes through the dash to the other side, catching the back dash once again. Oh, low secured, super secured. What's my name? Trying to secure this game as well. Here we go, dash in. Look at that, the respect. Expecting the DP to come out. Saw the meter that was there at MFCR side. Nice 6P. Oh, the Sans cancel was cute, but MFCR again just rips the DP. But again, the wake up super, it just keeps hitting. MFCR, we gotta change up the structure of the pressure. We gotta show a little more respect. We cannot be getting away with this many wake up supers. Oh my God, and another 2D. But able to score the throw in the corner. No meter to save, MFCR tries to go for the dash block immediately.
I mean, he's been holding his own. It's just not going to be able to... He just can't close out the rounds, right? Oh, PRC Super this time. Okay, like a brush. Hard knockdown has meter. Burst available for MJ. Shouldn't expect to see it, but with a backdash, maybe all of a sudden, this round has a lot more life than it once did, but there's the DP. Yeah, absolutely going to hold on to the burst, though. No reason to try and be a hero. You have no meter to make that comeback. But MJ still sitting here at set point. Hey, I mean, didn't want to spend the meter to go for the for the hard knockdown with the super. Instead, kind of reset things a little bit. It's DP though. Oh my Bro. God! But he went for the he went for the cross cut super. And it connected as well. That's just even crazier about it. And here we go. Berserker Barrage. RC. Yep. No. Catching you with the close slash just like that. Last opportunity to burst. We still have meter available. Proxima. Can we bring it back? Wow. Overhead connects. Has meter. <gasps> nothing. Gets nothing for it. Gets it again, though. But can we squeeze it out? Oh, we don't have enough for the wall. The salt and the throw gets avoided with the jump. MFCR survives the game five. It's hard to play that sequence and not just be staring at MFCR's burst the whole time to see when it's coming back. Yeah, it, not only that, but staring at your own burst, praying to God you get up to half so you can do a wild assault conversion to close it out. Yeah. I mean, somehow, some way, another game five. Round start DPs the two S. You gotta be kidding me. Burst does come through though. Nice punish from MJ. Just as far as he can, sets up the card. Is able to get the back dash once again, but there we go. Dude, the flash kick is just, it's inevitable. He's inevitable. Yeah, PRC and maybe had an opportunity there. Did get a look, but couldn't quite find anything. The movement has been so slick from MJ. Avoiding those 2Ks from MFCR. There it is. Flip again, but instead, Party's going to land behind you. Catches the misstep forward with the DP. Overhead. <gasps> Too far away from the 2S. That could have been the round, but still. In a very dominating position. What a wild assault. Flip in, get the close slash, preventing you from jumping out. Nice stuff there from MJ. It's once again at set point. Backing across, trying to keep the momentum as best you can. Overhead, not gonna find anything. Dash 2K twice in a row finds its mark. MFCR puts it over the corner though. Yeah, but there it is. DP, the moment that you see him go into the misstep. I think we're going to final game, final round here. Unless NJ makes a miracle comeback. And there it is. Yep, Flash kick coming through. Was able to block the card on the way down. Final game, final round. Burst about to be on MFCR side. Just gets hit by the 6-H round start. You're going through the wall. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna work. When flash kick is there, you have to respect it. Find 2D, just barely finds its mark, the tip of the boots. Knockdown. Run through works, 100 meter, but you're not gonna get the chance to spend it. Oh, That's no! That's hero, folks. Just barely got the burst back but leo so ready for it mfcr so ready for it three to two and mj really but we'll see how that's going to be because right now it is all about walter versus mike and you know Melia, she doesn't want to be caught walter's been doing a really good job being very evasive but mike my god bro he will rush you down he will dp 
even if Melee is going into the sky, she's going to have to be careful about that. Did you see that almost anti-air 2D? That was crazy. Mike, I will say, though, uh, wall in winner's bracket is coming from the depths of hell right now off of a crazy comeback. Was on the brink and somehow made it work in that last set. Walter has, uh, Walter has not stopped a s for a second. A perfect to come through here. The momentum continues to build. There's more of the same for the kid, Walter. And the score the throw. Same side, JH. I also just want to make it known, uh, Walter's only dropped one game so far tonight in this run. That's it. So, yeah, Walter has absolutely been looking unstoppable. Oh, my God. And Walter, I mean, no change of pace here. Double perfect. A double perfect. That's crazy. For game one. And we saw how wild Mike was before, right? Now just getting locked down. Just looking like they're stuck in mud. I don't even know you there's no there's no possible way to even suggest hit Walter <laughs> is my assessment for the next game. <laughs> Walter's just playing so good, finds that one neutral win and snowballs it into what seems like an inevitable round every time. I mean that's just the strength of Milia's mix up, right? Sometimes you're overwhelmed with the amount of options that you have as Milia to mix up your opponent. But Walter doing such a good job at just cycling through them. There we go. Hard knockdown. Double air dash in. Double overhead on top of it. And are we going to work on a third perfect? There's no way, right? Three in a row. Three rounds, three perfects from Walter. Bro, oh my god. I... What does Mike even do here? Mike's not getting a chance to play the game at all. I literally don't know. Nice the, the first, dude. This just can't be real. Bro, Walter drank the water of life. He's the least oh Kagai, bro. God. That's the Muda team. Oh, we got the hit, but it doesn't matter. Six P. He sees the past Jesus and the Christ. future. Four rounds, three perfects. Walter said, "I have no enemies. I take no." Damage. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, bro, I don't know. This is absolutely insane right now from Walter. I mean, obviously, you're going to get hit by mix-ups here and there. But really, it's the neutral game, right? Mike hasn't gotten a chance to get the engine started at all. We've been stalled from the get-go. Not able to catch Walter in the air. Not able to outplay Walter on the ground. Like, what does Mike do? You have to slow the match down somehow because Walter is firmly in the driver's seat and it's just racing all the way to winner's finals yeah i mean maybe take some bigger risks at round start maybe take some bigger risks mm -hmm. in certain neutral interaction look for some weird unconventional anti-airs <laughs> uh, or not anti-airs air to airs excuse me it just literally has just been walter finding the first hit and it just hasn't stopped one neutral touch is all that it takes we might just get six rounds straight again oh, wow. This is what this is an all-time performance from the homie Walter right now. This is crazy. And Mike just kind of forced to block in that spot. Tries to not be committal. Ends up spending the burst and then loses the air to air. Yeah, and that's another wall break here for Walter. Spends the BRC. Excuse me, the, the blue wild assault. Yeah, I mean this is just. There's got to be some room for Mike to go for a DP somewhere, right? Bringer. He kicks him out of Bandit Bringer. He did it so high in the air. All right, just the falling JS. Wait, 5K. Ooh. Let's go, Mike. First real hit of the set, honestly and truly. 2P, though. Didn't have life to be able to trade. Walter is on set point. Trying to make this six rounds straight, Proxy. Okay, there we go. With the delayed far slash, able to get the hit. Chunk you. And finally now, it's Walter who's forced to block, but a jump out with a compel turns things around immediately. 
And good FD the whole way through from Walter just to be able to buy some space. 2K 2D into the Lush Shaker. Capel gets the hit. And Walter with another amazing confirm. Every single hit has turned into something. Every single hit. Screen. Baits out the burst with the RC. You're dead. Absolutely dead. There's the wall break and Walter oh does it 3-0. Moving on to winner's finals. Has still only dropped one game oh, so far in this Walter. tournament run. And of course, Evo Japan next month as well, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah, late how April. Many, curious how many uh, Western players are going to be heading out to Evo Japan for the challenge of Guilty Gear Strive. Should be exciting to see. But this match is going to be exciting as well. Rat versus Krieg. Rat gets the first blood. How, now look, Rat. This is a tough, tough match to, uh, to show up. You know what I'm saying? Tough act to follow. Take it to birth though, dashes up after the reversal. Close slash barely clips. Okay, so we're breaking the wall, put you in a really good spot. Look, the pressure on the hard knockdown is just dash up 2S, but that's more than good enough. Rat taking it. Again, Rat taking to the skies, just trying to throw that reticle off. But while grounded, Krieg is going to have the advantage here. Two P's, double overhead. Actually doesn't find much afterwards. Good match from Krieg there. Oh, and just like that, the cook up, and it kills Rat. Not quite going to be able to get around that one. Deus Ex. Enough to finish the job. Full burst, full resources for both players. For Rat, 2K2D, very brave at the start. Ooh, trying to swing at the 5P. Nice whip punish there, though, from Rat. First down for free. Let's get some of that momentum. Still a very winnable round. Set out the clone just to get the focus. Oh, a couple quick shots as we close the distance here. Focus and bullets are both looking good. Gets the hit into the wall. Deus X once again, just enough. Absolutely. There we go. Krieg able to secure game number one. Yeah, I mean, Rat just not being able to get set up for any of the tricky stuff here. Even when we find those knockdowns, Krieg has been able to uh, be active enough on defense to survive a lot of these situations. Uh, Rat going for like JH, but it hitting a little bit too high. Krieg recognizing the situation, mashing the 2P. A lot of little things like that that are just breakouts that are uh, not allowing Rat to snowball things as hard as they would like to. Yeah, and that's the big thing. You gotta be able to challenge Melia. It's so difficult just to find out when it's your turn to actually press something, right? So easy to allow her to run away with the momentum, but Krieg is doing a really good job putting in those little stops. Alrighty. Oh, that was so damn high in the air to go for an air throw, and with no focus, too. Okay, bad to worse though. No bullets in the chamber. Has to go for the BRC. Dashes around the 2K though, but can't confirm it. Again, has no bullets. I was surprised that was a BRC. I was almost expecting a YRC to come out in this scenario, but Krieg able to avoid it altogether. You don't need any bullets though for a Deus Ex Machina to close out another round. Set up the curse. Look at that, just standing on top of the clone. Huge damage coming through. Gonna get all the bullets back once again. And we just go straight in for the safe jump. Triple overhead. First in the step back, but it's not gonna matter. Well structured and good idea from Krieg there. He's able to get aggressive, knows the clone is there, and even with Rat taking an opportunity that would normally be a very strong whiff punish, Krieg gets away completely scot-free. Yeah, because we backdashed right into the clone, allowing the clone to just take the hit for us and get a free punish. Really, I feel like clone has been, it's been such a pivotal tool 
yeah. in this matchup for Krieg, right? Whether it's setting out the clone to just stand on it and get focus or reload some bullets, setting out the clone to try and force Wrath to go to the air, but then, you know, it's a predictable approach. Been really good so far for Krieg, but let's see if Rack can turn things up and extra gear. Oh, 2S. Barely clipped. Turns things around. There's a throw, though, in the corner. Goes for the cross up twice in a row, but the headbutt, little headbanger, to be able to get out of there. Right to another Deus X. Is able to break the wall, too. And Krieg closing out another one here, sending it set point, threatening to eliminate Rat from the bracket right here. Uh-oh. Uh, He's focusing really hard, Proxy. Okay, there you go. Everything all good. Lush Shaker is going to whiff. That whiff doesn't get Kree. Allow Kree to score a little bit more offense. Uh, block. Full flash into the 2S. Goes for the hair car. Blocks most of it. Ends up spending the burst, but that space. Well yeah. earned. Still a really good position here for Kree. Clone right into the 2D. No confirm off of it, but being able to get that focus back was huge. Special follow up. Back dashes follow to avoid the, the bullet. Not going to matter for long. Kree going to take the shot and clean it up with the Deus Ex. And thank you, Sundercat, coming through with the $5 into the match arena. We appreciate you. That's such a. Such a crazy situation to be in. One who sent, uh, yeah, sent Creed to lose yes. earlier on. So there's the potential for these two to, uh, you know, have a collision course for a run back, maybe, which would be very fun to get to see. Absolutely, the Happy Chaos Beer match. All right. As it already starting off strong, gets the burst out of Danny very early on. But what a 60 the people's elbow hitting from so high up. Twice in a row ends up working out. Fireball to play the shock state. Gets the counter hit because of it. Nice confirm into the super. Yeah, Danny usually loves to break the wall there with the sacred edge. Gets that shock state applied and does more damage than the ride the lightning. Oh, we're going to run back. You're not allowed to escape from the corner quite yet. Hazen hatching their own escape plan here. God in the machine. That aim gets the hit, recharges the focus, burst, full screen, the new chain, looking very, very strong, waits for the burst, spins it very late. I don't think I'll ever get used to full screen burst. I'll just say it. No, it, it's definitely <laughs> interesting. It's interesting, but it's needed against a level like Happy Chaos. Agreed. Roll they, they literally buffed first because of this character. Oh. Staggers, PRT forward, finds the throw. Oh my god. Oh, with a far slash right at the tip. We're going for Ride the Lightning. We want to get that wall break right away. Has access to one wild assault. That's up for the 5k with 5k actually turns into a throw. Pull the 2k 2d. Misses the gun hit. Oh no. The pistol whip missed. This is a huge opportunity now for Danny. Oh, gets the burst out in the end. DP after the hit. JS on the clone into the TP. It all comes up according to plan. Incredible. Those are the kind of plays that you see here in top eight of TNS. Try to go for the far slash again, but hasn't able to maneuver and get the 2K. Okay. I mean, stifling all of that momentum pretty quickly.
Ooh, waits for the burst though, but I mean, Happy Chaos has the luxury of being able to go for things like that. You can be that patient and try and bait the burst that hard. A lot of other characters, that is a super, super risky situation, but uh, that's Happy Chaos. Just pull the gun and take aim. Just chill. Yeah, absolutely. Happy Chaos, you know, this character has definitely been, finally got his most substantial nerf, right, when it came to Season 3. But still incredibly strong. That's been proven time and time again. His kit is just too good to be put into the dirt. But still, much more manageable now. And you get to see that from a lot of different players. Danny is fighting very well here. Just unfortunately wasn't able to close out game number one. We'll see how that goes, though. Dual We've seen Danny one. make comebacks time and time again. Crown Star just kind of backs up and goes for the fireball game here. Trying to avoid that curse is going to be a huge aspect as well. Good stuff to knock Danny to the ground there, too. Trade heavily in Happy Chaos's favor there because of Sinji Airborne. Ooh, gets the slide on in, gets the connection, fully charged dust, goes for the dash cancel. Good follow-ups here, and he's able to get the wall stick as well, so no hard knockdown, but still positive bonus is big. Oh, and then the 2B, just a challenge immediately, fully charged 5D. Set straight through the wall, DP is enough to close out the round. Roll through. A uh, little bit of a stanky leg mix up there. Able to score the throw, though. He actually threw the DP. You saw the reversal come out for Danny. DP's a second time with no fear, but we are no fear right back from Hazen with the challenge of the 2S. Yeah, heavy fireball. You know we're going to get a poke of some kind there. That or we're going to just jump away and avoid it. Terrible situation for Danny. He does have burst, though. And an RC, so... I mean, it's not a good chance. Oh, Ooh, interesting, out of bullets. This is where Danny can finally make his mark. Don't give him any room to breathe. Catches the backdash as well, RTL, definitely the right decision. Oh man, the little delayed burst there coming out from Hayes. But the rising JS is gonna be enough for Danny to close out game number two and tie things up. Also, shouts to Slash coming in. Uh, great stuff over the weekend, by the way. Say we spoke of May too much. We summoned him. <laughs> Chat's been speaking too much of the Look, dolphin. Slash, Slash played incredibly well, and he got the kiss blown to him by Isha. All right, he's winning more than any of us. Easy dub. Hey, back to it, one to one. Air with the JS worked out pretty well in that spot. Gets the curse applied. Oh, backdash does get caught, but a little too far away to get that 5H, unfortunately. Bro, you are not. Stone Edge is not going to beat a pistol. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to say. You can throw all the fireballs you want, dog. Not against the Blicky. <laughs> Finished up there. Cleaned it up well. Danny in a terrible spot again. Does have half a burst up. Thunderbird, but the clone absorbed the first hit. YRC significantly too far. A hundred meter and didn't need to spend it. All right, round start. Set up the curse again. My man just is shooting from the hip here. Already out of bullets. Smart there from Danny, though, to burst the moment that Hazen runs out of bullets, right? Unfortunately, we weren't able to capitalize on it in any way. Clean up the super. Hazen, not going to try and close the distance. Going to look for the curse instead of the clone. Instead, stops the jump twice in a row. Jumping against Happy Chaos is definitely a double-edged sword. So sometimes it can lead to a very big reward. But especially for trying to close the distance in last second situations, a lot of the times if they're if they take aim and they do the full powered shot, it can just kind of reset your progress. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the, the most frustrating things about it. Honestly, jumping against Happy Chaos is, is more risky than jumping against any other character in this game. Well, let's see. Can Danny keep the progress going forward and take this to a game five? 
too far still finding this spot just trying to move as much as you can to keep the reticle off for you but it's not gonna matter here full resources out still finds a way in cqc to get a hit oh, shooting right out of the skies it gets a full confirm of it right into the curse setup beautiful routing now just reload all those bullets get them back right now RC, put you through the wall with the Ride of the Lightning. Okay. Another one of those situations where there is some amount of an opportunity here. Uses the Wild Assault and gets the hit on the counter hit. The tap does find its mark first, comes back, but I don't even think you would have spent it even if you could. More than an opportunity, Proxy Danny pulled himself up by his bootstraps. But uh oh. Got to get set right through the wall. Curse is applied. God. A big turnaround potentially. Close slash. Keep that pressure rolling. DP does find its mark. Danny, you cannot let them get the clone set up. And unfortunately, it's not gonna be a clone. It's gonna be a quick roll mix-up. Bro, the B the BRC down while you're in the air was kinda nasty. Kinda nasty there. Vahaza now sitting on set point. Danny still with burst available. Immediate burst on the first touch. Oh, big starter. Look at the damage coming out. It doesn't quite build the super, but even without the super, that's half your life. Yeah, that's right. Positive bonus means that you're going to have a 100 meter here. Tries to go for another mix, but he got pushed out too far. That's all right. Game five. We're about to see it. Danny with a hell of a turnaround here. Again, in the loser's bracket, things getting a little out of control. Shaky driving from the two, but got to stabilize. Danny Almaza, staying alive. Game five. Things are stabilizing, right? But can we keep it stable? That's the main thing. Hazen is so good in that scramble situation. right off the start I and mean, it gets shock state applied doesn't get anything for it with punishes with an id in on a bad button there for danny it looks like takes the shot through the fireball and as we said i mean the fireball game can be effective to throw here and there to get that shock state applied but you cannot get into a fireball war with this guy it's just not possible all right let's go to the throw fast rc first comes out though nice we're starting to adapt here danny Calling out some things that we were getting blown up from before, like the roll through, but still 2p, 2p, it. Stay effect is kind of huge there for Hazen. Okay, down to potentially the finale here. Half a burst for both players. One wild throw on the table. Flip kick gets the hit. No counter hit though, no punish. Of DP. Danny still in this. The, wow, man, the way that the gunshot is just blowing up the Fudre arc is very impressive. <laughs> Sacred Edge for a grip of damage. Dashes up for the 5k, looks for the throw. Isn't too aware on that one. Nice little confirm, and it actually ends in a curse. Have a look, we're about to build burst back up. Look, wow, the stun dipper coming through. And just Dude. like that, final game, final round. Danny coming into the next round with full burst available. We have one more get out of jail card. Couple good shots, set up the curse. A little bit of charge, we dash up. One bullet left in the chamber here. How are you gonna get an opportunity to spend it? Looks for the curse and that jump in, Gillian, so cleanly. Yep, sacred edge. Nice chunk of damage, hard knockdown more importantly. Yeah, 
that you saw. Kazer tried to take to the skies to avoid that exact scenario, getting clipped by the Scum Dipper. And that's going to be it. Danny does it with the comeback. Wow. I mean, starting off... Because that is your best way to get in on this character or going for missteps to try and snipe him while he has the gun out. Hey, makes total sense. Johnny can do it. Maybe it's MJ, though. 2K2D at the start into a counter hit. 2S does not bode well. Bursts into full screen. Creek says, I hear no bell. <laughs> it closes the distance itself. Fully charged dust. Where are you looking? We don't have the combo. That's okay, you know? <laughs> A counter hit on everything. Weird. Buttons galore. Every single hit coming out of counter hit there. Creek, it's a perfect. That was a hell of a perfect. We didn't even need the dust combo. All right, there's the dashboard. Able to score the counter hit. Yeah, approaching Happy Chaos is so difficult in this matchup. Look, MJ is just consistently going for dashboard jumps. But finally, able to get in for a huge hit on it and get the knockdown. They jump off of this one. Oh, the oh. RC! Beautiful answer back. Yeah, even with the slowdown, quite able to get it. Oh nice God, situation. Bro. Get 6K in the, uh, in the aftermath. Yeah, I'm surprised that Kree was able to block that one, too. There's the card in the corner. Just breaks the wall. Was a little too far away for the That's My Name, but didn't opt to go for the Joker trick. I think we just wanted to save that meter here for any kind of neutral interaction. Oh, it looked like they maybe were anticipating the uh, the defensive option there because tried to step back. It doesn't matter. Anti air into the first fade. You're still alive though. Well, we are going to go for a wall assault for sure to knock you down. And now MJ possibly have to guess for your life. Yeah. Getting around that is just going to be too difficult, right? You could have gone for I don't know what, maybe 6K onto the clone and then RC into something, but. Creek sitting comfortably behind the clone there, just waiting to see what you're going to do. Even that, in the time of the 6K coming forward, you still might just get shot. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That is a huge possibility. So let's see. Hopping right back onto the sticks to go into it. Wouldn't blame MJ for taking a little bit of a breather either. All I know is MJ does not have the blue coat on yet, so we're not at full power. <laughs> How you feel? You'll see. You'll see. If they go down, they're swapping to the blue coat. And here we go. Deus Ex Machina. Very strong positioning right now for Creek. Just accomplish the double overhead, dashes up with the gun, maintaining pressure. Not have to spend so much meter just on FD here. And still can't escape the pressure. Yeah, and look at that. Setting up the clone for that exact interaction, right? Whether or not you're going to throw out a far slash or you try to go for a 2K, 2D, the clone is there to protect Happy Chaos and blow you up. Flipped up. Got a trick to the wall. There we go. Deus Ex Machina. Take a shot every time we say Deus Ex Machina. Nah. <laughs> Love yourself. And there it is. Another super to close it out. Creek is going to go up 2-0. Pretty dominating game number two. Watch, Proxy. The blue coat's coming on. We're powering up. We'll see if it even makes a difference here with the way that Creek is kind of playing this, man. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how much of a difference it can make. But I mean, you're seeing why this is really difficult, right? 
why this is a difficult matchup for Johnny. He has a hard time dealing with not only the pressure from Happy Chaos poking out of him in the corner, but just approaching in general is difficult. All right, well, let's see if the uh, if we have any kind of switch up of uh, costumes or play style or anything in between. Big adjustments required here for MJ. Like we said, fighting this super uphill battle. Oh, he's what I say. right. You're a genius. Watch this. Reverse 3-0. He said, I've been watching the tape. Unfortunately, the blue coat, I don't know if it makes the matchup any easier. Oh, no. The 6P coming through. Yeah, and clone is just so difficult to get around. It's so hard for Johnny to play around, but there we go. Empty jump into the throw. Get the guard crush on deck. The moment that we get 50 meter, Johnny's pressure becomes more of a threat. So that look good as well, but it doesn't matter, dude. The running hook is able to find the connection. Go straight to the super. Wall break, guaranteed shatter damage, not quite enough, but MJ in a terrible position again. And we just take aim right away. Yeah, and there it is, 5D, the gut punch, knocking the glasses off his head as SQ comes through with the raid. Thank you so much, SQ. Hope you had a good stream. Pleasure to watch you play as always. Here we go, throw in the corner, set up the card. Ooh, just goes for the misstep backwards there. Jump this time into the instant overhead. What's my name? Okay, it does get the round, but as we said, things not looking easy. Full burst for Krieg. Oh. Nice with the back, bro. Again with the overhead, this time Krieg immediately going for the RC. Or excuse me, the burst, but we flip in. Trying to keep some pressure going. Does get hit by a counter hit though. This isn't good. Ooh, the misstep into the throw, but great awareness there from Krieg. Yeah, the tech is crazy from Krieg. 2S, taking all the shots to close the distance. IBF deep buys you some room, but maybe not enough. Oh my god, we went for the raw dash cancel on flow slap. Krieg saw that instantly, was ready to press. And might be able to close the set off of this one. Clone is available, blocks the super pretty easily. Even with the burst here for MJ, not much to be done. One last life to live, doesn't have a whole lot of meter. How do you get around the clone? Just standing on it. Uh oh. This would be a hell of an opportunity. Gets the card. There's a chance. Oh, but the deflect shield pushing you out. Gun is out. Wow. Was able to actually hit, but it's still not enough. Air Miss Fighter is going to do it. MJ gets a game. Dude. Oh, my God. That was unbelievable there. MJ able to keep the willpower, keep the mental to lock that down and bring it back. One gunshot would have taken out MJ. Anything would have done. Even blocked. Anything not FD'd was a kill there. Mankind. Duel one. <laughs> Let's rock. what I say about the blue coat? Sabra, you've been right so far. First comes through. Cross goes to burst. Three goes to burst. A super aggressive choice to build. Kind of dash in there. Instant overhead does connect with the RC. Sets up a card and gets the connection again. Wait, 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 wait. Can you tell me if I just pick the blue color palette for my character, it's gonna do this. It's the power up, bro. When Goku goes blue, you see what he does. All right, the right. RC mix. Oh, we actually use it to set up a card. Plus on whiff, you love to see it. <laughs> Both of them whiff on the throw. <laughs> That's the oop. 
The SOS, baby, you love to see it. You know, when you pass the body in a grocery store, just a little too close. Oop. Oh, oh my god. Boy, for the first part, gets the punish. Look at the damage, MJ. There's just no way he does this. I yep, still don't believe. We get a safe jump now. Oh, we actually opted just throw off the card. And there you go. That's another game for MJ. We're going to game five. How did this happen? I don't understand. You change the music to original bet and you put on the new That's threads. That's true. It is Exer Johnny theme. <laughs> That's, all he, That's all he needed. Oh my God. Cree, you gotta restabilize. Well, let's see, it is not over yet. Cree can definitely still close this out, can can kill the dream right here and eliminate MJ. Wow, and just, there's just a difference in, in confidence levels right now when it comes to MJ. But Cree still not looking out of it. It's just that MJ looking more like themselves playing out of the bad matchup here. Super to break the wall. Big momentum for Creed. You cannot let this get away from you. Yeah, looks like we're doing a good job as well. There's a huge punish on the 5H. Ooh, just catching you landing with the close flash. That is a clean round there for Creed. Now sitting at step point. This is where the dream can end now. MJ's run can end right here, right now. We don't have burst to save us. See if that blue jacket has a little more magic left in it. Close slash, trying to find its mark here. The staggers, tough to deal with. IVFD still doesn't buy you enough room, but there's the back throw. This is where it all starts, right? Keep having chaos cornered, keep the pressure on. Guard break after guard break, but the misstep gets called out. Oh, the counter hit on the pistol whip. Step and go straight super. There were no bullets left in the chamber. The full reload is the most important thing here. This is arguably even more of a comeback, but it's not going to have. Whoa. We tried to pay off the burst so hard. It's crazy there. Nice backdash. Backdash is response. BRC in response. Gets the throw. Going to get a free card set up off this. But the gold burst comes out. This is scary. Yep. You had no FD to save you. Would have had to go for a burst full screen. Unfortunate. But MJ fought with his heart. Jesus. Krieg was the better player tonight. MJ. Man, maybe put the jacket on earlier. Three to two. Guy, you know? <laughs> Sutter Cat coming through with the prime. Thank you very much for the support as we get into our match. All right, you see Danny already trying to play that fireball game. Look at the spacing we're staying at, the tip of 2S range. And the reason why we're doing more of that 2S range is because 2S is going to be able to cover Night Raid Vortex, right? We throw out the fireballs, that's going to put the idea into Mike's head. Maybe I should Vortex underneath, but then we can catch it with 2S. Tech, Sundipper, just block the punish. Burst actually does come through. Mike was going, trying to go for the JD to extend a little further. Couldn't quite get through with it though, but 2D on the counter hit is very optimal on the confirm as we get to the wall. There we go. Tyrant Rave. And look how long it took for Mike to get started. Danny was able to play that spacing game so well, but did no damage in the process. Shutting down your whiff punish. Gotta watch out for that negative penalty though. Dad just barely clips him. Still okay though, gets the throw. Back, maintain pressure, taps the dust. What are you gonna find with it though? What we're gonna find is nearly around. Didn't have enough meter to go for the super, but that's fine. Hard knockdown is plenty. Oh my god, bro, the 6H, I forgot. <laughs> Plants the tombstone, takes the kill. And what was a, an incredibly long round, Mike does get ahead. Yeah, you're 
you are floating around a little too much there. Whether it's close slash or it's the people's elbow, something is gonna track you down there. Mike takes a grip for his troubles. Mike goes for the fast RC. Mike has been doing a really good job defending here. We haven't been getting mixed up. We've mostly been getting frame trapped. This is the JD, unfortunate. Go extends the clean hit in the footsies, evens things up. These have been grind, dude, crazy grinds of rounds. Right, here we go. Thunderbird on in. Nice confirm. Tried to bait out a throw attempt there with the shimmy. But speaking of throws, there's the wild one. I like trying to go for the 5k there. Oh, you're dead, bro. Immediate super just to lock out the burst. And the winner of this matchup is going to decide our top four. So, already looking good here for Mike. Yeah, definitely been a hell of a battle out and <laughs> knowing that your next opponent is going to be Krieg with MFCR and the scariest Milia maybe ever in Walter <laughs> just the the crazy buff for the day oh my god stacked up to be one of the craziest top eights man out of a lot of stuff we, we're 110 weeks in <laughs> And every week, I feel like it gets better. Okay, at the start. Big ideas don't turn into much. Does get the poke max distance. Wild Assault gets that little launch. Turns into a wall break. Doesn't choose to... Oh, no, didn't have it. Not quite. Right, there's the plus frame. We utilize them to get that run and throw. No RC? Okay. That's fine. Here we go. DP out. Hell of a comeback here for Mike if we can do it. Okay. Fortunate there. Not being able to find anything for a hard knockdown. It's going to have to win neutral. And with a BRC forward, 2P. Worst case of trades there. And that still wins the day. Yeah, and Mike not going for the wild assault there because there's no reason to spend the burst, right? That is such a huge, a monumental comeback to make. And you don't want to lose and then go into the round with half a burst available. Oh, wow. What a pickup! Another pickup there with the 6 8. Put yourself a little closer with the whiff to Dire Eclair. Oh, 6 8 doesn't find its mark. Just block. Dashes up and finds a wild throw. Again, one, one more time. No. Ooh. But <laughs> the Kai special. Danny giving Mike a taste of his own medicine. Able to even the score. This is sad, man. The Mexico team kill. Definitely a tough one. I mean, two incredibly strong players. I mean, I feel like so far, Danny, I feel like the slower things go, the more I just like Danny. If only just, if only just because of character selection, because it's not like Mike isn't comfortable playing these type of like these longer footsie games, right? Yeah, absolutely. No strike on throw. You mean never, never strike, just throw? The roar of the spark. Dual one. Let's rock. What a shimmy. Danny's been consistently trying to bait that out a lot, too, with the run up back dash. Charge dust. Didn't have anything to go for the hard knockdown here, which means it's back to neutral. Oh, wow. And... wow, that beats 6H? That's Jumps... actually kind of surprising. Jumped straight over it. Maybe it's because it was so far away, too, because that the flip kick was from very, very far. Counter hit in the corner, though. Danny, you are, you are blessed that the wall had taken that much damage already. <laughs> I could have oh, been way worse. 
Bro, PRC 6P, that's a soul flash. Here we go, picked off the ground. Trying to go for the coast, confer coast, coast confirm here. Into a wall break. And Dan, I feel like Danny's conversions are second to none when it comes to tie players. Because his routing is phenomenal. Max meter for Mike, looks for the 6H, doesn't find much. Wild throw, definitely not what you wanted in that spot. JD, keep him trapped to the ground. Back dashes out though. Yeah, 2D Ryan underneath the fireball. The whiffed bandit ringer! Danny recognizing the spacing on it. Oh, and just a 5P, just pressing out something safe. Mike, as we said before, at a life total where you just can't be affording to trade. So Danny willing to just stick out whatever to see what happens. Yeah, man, Danny is looking so good here now. One game away from sending Mike out of the bracket and securing the place in top four. It's so good back and forth off the start. Dashes up for the 2K 2D. Much here from Mike. And unfortunately, with the Wild Assault, even with all of that, wasn't quite able to find what he was looking for. Wall break on the RTL, though. Wake up 5K. Okay. And dashes backwards. Slides on out of the wave dash back to be able to avoid the DP. Mike with a ball break of his own. Oh, but there we go. DP right back. Bro, the behind the back close slash. Oh, but there's the RC. Face out the DP in a big no play. Yeah, that's blocked. Way, bro. DP into RTL right afterwards. Heavy fireball goes for the low. Checks the legs a little bit. Not quite anything afterwards, though. This is exactly the kind of pace that Mike wants, though. But Gellis get clipped by the 6P. And now Danny at set point. Ooh, what a trade. Mike will take that any day. He's all trying to bait out a throw or a DP with that back dash. Okay. Even with the good damage there, the burst is well worth it. Takes that step backwards. Plus forward. Oh, what a challenge with the 2P. Takes the skies. 2K2D sets up the heavy stun edge. Oh, jump in DP. 2S twice in a row was just buffering it. This is suddenly just turning into a DP war. Delayed flip pick is going to get caught. That's going to be the round here. Mike staying alive one more time. 5K pickup was very, very strong. A round of peace. DK Fireball is so sick there. And he goes over the 2D. Oh, no. You got hit by 6H, bro. And again, that was with no super. Didn't even use the RTL. Still has a meter to use. Late PRC. I like that chasing through the skies. Not trying to go for the air throw. Just trying to keep Mike locked down. Watch out for the stun edge. That is 100 meter. <gasps> it runs right into the tombstone. Look at the life. Three hits. Ooh. Oh my god. The scaling is yeah, crazy. Yeah, absolutely! Just like that! Even life! Look at the meter for Danny, though. And has burst. Or going for some kind of reversal here soon. It's not if, it's when. You have to burst. You have to burst. You're dead. There it is. Burst hits its mark. The Hail Mary flip kick. <gasps> that was a crazy tech from Mike. RTL to lock out the burst. Danny with a recognition in the finish. You saw, though, Mike was starting to pull Danny into his world, into his domain, right? <laughs> All right. Let's get into it. All right.
the bat. First blood there for Walter. Put a few P's. Not gonna find much, but even if the S disc is able to get a little bit of pressure going, Bad Moon Walter is like a thousand for a thousand on Bad Moon. Did you see that on the very first disc? We just landed, landed and blocked, trying to bait out the, uh, the DP there from MFCR. Walter already fully aware of what you need to look out for in this matchup. He gets a perfect right off the bat. <laughs> Okay, good use of the movement there. Gotta be careful about how you move. Punish, just because, little footsies for the fans. Same side on the first mix up. All right, hard knockdown. Oh, just tried to go for the run up six H there, but finally, DP comes out from MFCR. That's the other side, bad moon. That's game number one here in Walter's favor. Genuinely an unbelievable amount of the hit percentage on Maybe it's just the way that Walter structures offense that when you're trying to dissect it when you're trying to like digest it in a hurry It just makes you feel like the high is not Gonna come because Walter is hitting every single one of them. <laughs> I Mean, I, I feel yeah Walter consistently goes for high But I wonder if maybe the idea that like it's almost like psyching yourself Walter. out like yeah, Walter Look likes to go high, so they're Walter. definitely going to go low. <laughs> I'm not blocking high right now, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate it. You going to keep going? <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Put your disc away, Walter. Put your disc away is crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh this has been a god. good tournament. This has been a really good tournament. If you're watching on YouTube right now, you gotta be here live. Checking these tournaments out online is uh, is cool, and it's always cool to support the YouTube, but you gotta be here, man. <laughs> you gotta be. It's There's something help. different. There's something in the air. There's the purse. <laughs> 2K, 2D, knockdown, heavy disc, same side, bad mood, no meter, doesn't matter. Again, it just keeps happening. Oh, and the Capel getting the wall splat. Hey, look at the 5D. Wasn't enough to kill, though. Walter still holding on to that burst. What a 6H frame trap. Mortal counter. Two. 5K oh, twice in a row actually does end up kicking the back dash. Oh! Yeah, huge call out there, baiting out the DP. It's important to make the DP whip. Oh, okay. look at the movement, too. Knowing that MFCR could go for the 5k there, you were in the danger zone. So went for the back dash and was able to whip punish. Oh, we are mashing out. He's off his button, bro. Dude, encounter is back and forth just brawling. When do you see Billy a brawl like this with Leo? And it works? Uh oh, oh. Well, hold on. Maybe not for long. Yeah, it goes for the reset. The 2p press. You're holding down back. Might as well 2P calling out the overhead attempt. Walter up 2-0 against MFCR. I thought Walter was going to spend burst there because I was expecting Walter to just be like, I have time to get it back. It'll be fine. Try and close the round out. Instead, just aggressive 2P. Like you said, the Zato reversal. Oh my God. This is actually, I have never seen Walter play this good. Walter's playing so excited because Duel one. Let's What's What is this tournament? <laughs> oh, what, what is that conversion? I told you, dude. <laughs> Coming up with the 2K. Cross up, gets the hit, knocked down once again. Good, block on the bad moon. Huge pick up. No. This is the run of Walter's life. Did the best disc is so smart. That was so smart. 
Yeah, just calling out any kind of backdash option there, right? Keeping yourself out of the range of the DP as well. All right, here's the run through. MFCR's not out of it yet. 2D, RC. The heat is on. Same side, very nice with the low. Able to get the wall stick and the break. But something tells me it's not over yet. Okay. All right. Yeah. MFCR getting around here. Still, Walter coming into this with burst. MFCR forced down, which means you don't get that get out of jail free card if you get put into the blender again. Blocks the DP. Get close left conversion. Look at the damage. Oh no, Burst is coming up, but when do you spend it? Uses it right away. Well, the fast fall into Capel. Fast fall Capel is so difficult to deal with. It feels like it always hits everyone. Last mix! This'll do it! And he connects! The overhead of the same side, Walter! In spots where you're like, what? What? On the ground? Milia? Why? Why there? Either way, let's refocus. Danny and Creek to come up now. Danny, I mean, has already had a couple banger sets to come through and had a shockingly close one with a happy chaos already very recently. Here we go, burst out from Danny. Chasing down, trying to stick out that far slash. Oh my god, pulling the gun. What a starter. Tap us a little too far, but it doesn't matter. The mix isn't quite over. Spends all of the bullets to find a 2D. Close flash. Yep, close flash into the 6H. Blocking you down from jumping out, preventing a button press. And wow, catching the backdash there with the Fudre arc. Okay, too far there. FDFD, plenty of meter. Oh my god, but a couple shots in a row. Kree gets to the wall, but RTL's gonna hit. Oh, pick up, there we go. Around for Danny. Yeah, approaching from the skies against Happy Chaos can be scary. Got a punish there, okay. I'll just the far slash the far slash of your own. Also like DPing through the gunshot. That was really smart from Danny as well. Good punish though. Bro. Oh, almost a connection. Knocks the clone over and gets a clean hit. Oh, tries so hard to bait the burst. Krieg holds on to it, and that is a round winning step of patience, I do believe, from Krieg here. Ooh, what a conversion there. Able to reload the bullets just for style, but Krieg does take game number one. Raising the mallet in victory. <laughs> As one does. A me mallet. Bro, I'm still, like, blown away so, from last game. I literally am so mentally fatigued from the things these players have been doing tonight. Bro, it's been four hours of this. Four hours of just non-stop insane sets actually, from the jump. From match two on, it's been, actually been insane the whole time. All right, I, dash blocking time here for Danny. So we can get into range. Thankfully, Krieg puts himself in range. There's the throw, heavy stun edge. Good. Bring with the jump over though, gets out of the corner. He's able to get aggressive on their own time here. No bullets, no focus, still finds an air throw. I got no I got no bullets, but I got these hands, bro. Alright, wall assault. Yeah, that's smart. Don't go back to neutral. You want the knockdown. You recognize that Krieg is out of a very key resource. So capitalize now. And you see that Krieg has to like 
kind of go in and try and establish something to get some kind of knockdown to reload some bullets. And he's using that to come out on top that round. Yeah, just hide behind the clone. Throw heavy oh. stun in your face. Gonna have to get out of it though. Get the poke. Tries to chuck the curse out. Not gonna be able to connect. Still takes aim. Still being aggressive. Once again, no resources of any kind. The speed at which Kree is able to put away the gun due to avoid the fireballs is really impressive. Success. Look at Danny just holding down back for life, trying to FD. Finally gets caught back dashing. Oh, the step back doesn't give you nearly as much room as you were expecting to have, I don't think. The round's in a better spot here. Krieg looking to go up two to zero. Curse applied. And again, Danny, we've seen that a couple times. Lands with JS, cancels into the DP, gets the clean hit with the Fudre arc. Fully charged 5D. And there we go. Perfect for Danny. Dude, an incredibly strong turnaround here to kind of equalize. <laughs> this is... Uh... Between the two, it's just been back and forth momentum. I will say... The most impressive thing watching this is how often Krieg runs out of resources and doesn't die for it. It's absurd how often Krieg is on the screen, no focus, no bullets, fighting. Yeah, I mean, Krieg, <laughs> Krieg is willing to treat the focus gauge like it's the Eddie meter. Him through yeah. for the second time. That will be enough to close the round. Danny turning things on its head a little bit at a time. Does have access to one wild assault here. Pick up. Oh, sending out the clone to try and cover exactly that. Mostly to cover the DP, I'd imagine. Speaking of the DP. Solid hard knockdown here now for Krieg. That puts it around a piece. Danny sitting on the full resources though. Krieg not far behind. Should have one full burst throughout this round. Whenever it does come through, trying to take aim, but the TK fireball finds its mark. Yeah, you see Danny is desperately trying to poke with that far slash, but Krieg is doing a fantastic job of just staying outside of the range. Finally gets clipped by it. Danny finding his knockdown. Can he find his momentum here? Oh, we caught the back dash. Look at all this meter though. Maybe want to whip out the Sacred Edge. Potentially no. YRC instead taps the dust and finds the hit. Yeah, but there we go with the wall break. It's going to be enough. Danny does go up 2-1 here against Krieg now. Yeah, restabilized to the fullest, able to secure a uh, a pretty sizable lead here. And that's just such a heartbreaker from Greg to die with that much meter. Has never really had a comfortable opportunity to access any of it. Yeah, no, not at all. Really unfortunate there. But, I mean, Krieg has been still keeping his own, keeping the pace in this matchup here. Danny really fishing for a lot of those far slashes. And really, when you find one counter hit far slash, that's when Danny is able to start snowballing. Dual one. That's our situation. We just go for the dash up, double 2k. Dude, that same DP situation has been so disgusting. Double wild oh. assault to keep momentum. Danny is trying to put an exclamation mark on this one, trying to be as aggressive as possible and just let this thing go. Gets the poke, gets the stun dipper. Pressure continues. 
Yeah, and that's the classic, right? Poking the clone and canceling off of the hit into Stun Dipper to catch Happy Chaos. Oh, but the Mortal Counter on the 2D. Nice with the whiff punish. Didn't have any meter though to finish the round. And a 2S. Double jab, not quite gonna find its mark. There it is, finally. We got what we were fishing for the entire time, right? We've been consistently putting out clone like that to try and bait out Danny's DP and get a huge punish on it. Chat, we're sorry. It's okay, it'll be fine. You guys overheated our laptops. <laughs> and now the audio is... <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm lightheaded. Bro, I hate y'all. <laughs> Stun Nipper taps the dust. Very nice. Tries really hard to bait the burst. It doesn't find it. Oh, here we go. Gunshot out again. There you go, Danny. Finds a way. Takes it over Greek. Three to one. <laughs> Incredible performance from Danny. Let's be honest, they got to power up almost so much for him to even stand yeah, they do, absolutely. <laughs> but here we All go, right. losers finals. <laughs> Danny versus MFCR. <laughs> All right, starting off with the fireball game. Danny likes to test you out with the fireball game at round start just to see how you're going to react. Heavy fireball actually counter hits. He's able to get the full confirm off of it. Finally burst at the very end to not have to take the hard knockdown after the wall. Burst comes uh -oh. through, and MFCR with the bait. Oh, the JH into the GP. Danny wilding out already. It's only the first round, and the first round is going to go to Danny there with the fast RC close slash. K2D, heavy fireball. And we just DP out of it just because, you know how it is. Tell you what, chat, if we get the Matcherino to $200, Proxy will read the Walta copy pasta. Come on, bro, why are you gonna... <laughs> oh, promising thing for me. <laughs> there you go. Wild Assault, break through the wall, put yourself in a good position here. Headbutt comes through, dashes up, gets the throw. And there you go, MFCR. Yeah, round for a round here. Of course, Danny coming up with the burst. Nice, grabbing the run through. There's the punish. Oh, mortal counter 6H. MFCR is going to be reeling from this. Okay, and the throw almost gets the full confirm burst. Doesn't have saving in the end with an RC. Tries to go for that jump scare of a low and doesn't quite find it. And there it is, DP. Danny's saying, I can DP just as well as a Leo player. <laughs> Medium hat, Logan, with the $5 contribution. Oh, it's thank, starting. Thank you very much. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I, Danny is so good at thriving in just all ranges, whether or not it's the chaos, right? Being able to DP with the best of them, giving MSCR a taste of his own medicine, or just playing that spacing game. Duel one. Let's <laughs> Isaac <laughs> with 25. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate you for your, con your generous contribution to the match arena. Look at the spacing here. Danny just peppering with the fireballs. Throws the flash kick. Look at that. Throws the reversal, of course. 
That's two DPs in a row thrown. There's the RC. Gonna be enough. No, we dropped it. <gasps> no, the DP was. This is terrible. It just couldn't be worse. Sent you back to mid screen as well. Oh, there's the jump out, but we had the PRC to cover it. Air Fireball, you still need to find that last touch. There it is, 5K. Shouts to Neo Judai coming through with the raid as well. That Air Fireball was nutty. Great decision making there, knowing that even with the slowdown, being able to go that high in the air would not be interrupted, but 2D beats the flip kick. Oh, a little too far away for the throw there. Punish could have been a lot worse. Okay, so he comes through once again, breaks the wall, a good chunk of damage. No meter to really show for it though as we go for the DP right off the start. Yeah, positive bonus here isn't gonna be able to save you. Danny absolutely holding on to that burst. And MFCR fighting back now. It's key that we tie things up 1-1. But it's good. Oh. Wild Assault is even better. Forces the burst out there. Danny just wants to get out of the corner and does. The turnaround here with the 5k taps the dust as well. Danny, everything and in between connecting there. MFCR, big chances though. 50 meter full burst. A lot of opportunity and swings with the 2k. Yeah, holding on to those resources though. 100 meter is huge here. But the DP hits the lagging hitbox in the run through. JS there and still being able to land was kind of crazy. Still alive and TP's out! Bro, he is not holding on to any of this mix up here from MFPR. Okay, 2D. Gotta be careful though. Watch out for the DP. Gets the run up throw. OTG 6 H and Danny. 2 nothing against MFCR. That was such a key, such an important round for MFCR to be able to tie things up 1-1. One, one. Now you're in the hot seat. You have to make a reverse 3-0 against a Danny who is hungry to challenge Walter in Grand Finals. I mean, if anybody's hungry here, it's got to be MFCR too. I mean, setting up to potentially be able to get that run back here after Walter, who, as we've already said, has dropped one game today was able to just securely handle that first set that they had. Duel one. Let's rock. All right, round start scenario. Nice dash block there from Danny. But the back dash is <laughs> not as great. Gets caught by the close slash. Okay. No, oh, kind of a messy situation. Ends up going for a BRC, sets up for something tricky, and just goes mid. <laughs> Ends up finding the hit anyways, though. MFCR, head in the round. Yeah, doesn't matter how messy it is as long as it works. All right, there we go. People's elbow. attempt not gonna work out the way you planned the damage here as you notice these pros are whipping a little bit more and more as the set goes on that could be a chink in the armor here the mfcr capitalize on second time we've seen that double uh that double rc danny commits to an air fireball here good use of the fireballs on the ground as well to make mfcr kind of rethink how they're approaching it but there's a clean hit Wow, what a conversion there, too. Gets the burst out of MFCR. Hungry to close up the round right now. Still, anyone's game. No resources on either side. These DPs for Danny, but a huge whip on that one. The counter hit from MFCR allows him to put a game on the board. This is the start. Jump back S to get a punish on a DP that whips. Crazy stuff. Ooh. This is just, I, I feel like today is a fee. This can't be happening. Danny, one away still. MFC are still fighting hard to be able to put themselves in a spot to be able to get that run back. He 
DPs are starting to get baited out now. Danny can't rely on them as much as he was in the first two games. Oh, JS lockdown is cute. Tap does just because. Presses a button afterwards as well. GG. No, instead we go for the heavy stun edge. Yeah, 5k, 5k. That is safe. He put through the wall, but I like going for the guard point there to try and challenge another DP. This time it's going to whiff. Could have gotten a much bigger punish on that. Yeah, I think just accidentally held charge for too long. Definitely didn't mean for the fireball. Blocks the double overhead into the low. Oh, and the wild assault also. That was an incredible sequence there from Danny. Locking up the burst two times from MFCR because it's a situation where you might burst, right? You just need to find yeah. one touch to win. Oh, okay. Nice fireball flips over. DPs! Oh, he does not care. All right. Last burst here possibly for MFCR. There's the wall break with the wild assault. 100 meter you know here. Coming. <gasps> Doesn't actually. 5k attempt. Super going to beat that cleanly. Oh, overhead's gonna hit. Holds on to the first. Part of me thought he was gonna spend it. You had a hundred meter. That was definitely a situation where you might have thought about it. But this is this is a big round now for Danny. MFCR, if, MF, if MFCR can take it to game five, I think he can he can make the comeback. Maybe. I mean, long road ahead still. Two S. Wow, the salt. Back to the fireball game, but MFCR a little ahead of the game on that one. Looks to poke through the fireball, which does work out in the beginning, but the DP into the 2H, it cuts the fireball. He's Bro. going all the way through the wall. Positive bonus now for Danny. Still, though, not that much of a lead. Okay, hold on. Heavy stun edge. Bro, RC. And there it is. Danny does it. Fates out the first. 3-1 over MFCR. Moving on to challenge Walter. You do what you got to do. Danny and Walter, grand finals. Walter, obviously, from the winner's side. This has the potential to be a 10-game banger, or Walter might just send us home. Yeah, I mean... One of the big things here is that no one has really been able to get started against Walter, right? And Danny is starting. Here's the ride, the lightning. Tap the dust, gets the hit, fully charges it, and Danny gets the kill. In a perfect, a perfect, that is a way to kick things off. But here we go. Throw from Walter. Oh, the reaction there to challenge the flip with a 5P. Yeah, the 5P was just so sick. 5S is an anti-air, though. Gets a great poke off of that one. GG with no confirm off of it. Look at how, how well Danny is keeping Walter locked down, right? Whenever Walter tries to jump out of the corner, we go for the Pudre arc to try and just force them to block. Oh, we gave up just a little bit too much space there. Okay, and fully charged dust does break it through the wall. That's a meter to spend here, but the dash of just to stop the Fudre arc twice in a row that has been so like effortlessly answered from Walter. Yeah, just a quick 5P press into a full combo. Here's the movement, jumps into the 6P. Man, Kai has really great air buttons as well. You saw that JS. There's the burst out. Recognizing how dangerous it is to be in that blender. Ooh, Walter being a little bit more grounded now, trying to play that footsies game, but you're playing against the king in neutral. You have to be careful. The kick RC doesn't really get much. Wasn't super convincing on the way that was going for the mix. Gets the anti air though. Oh. <laughs> Bro. 
All right, there's the DP out. Yeah, if you're able to block the mix, you can go for the DP. But now, you know, Walter is definitely going to be thinking about that later. Oh, whoops! Fastball into gold burst. Are you kidding me? Oh, off the other side. There's a little bit of a delay there on that 2K. I wonder if we wanted something different. We did close slash. Only one hit of it. Not going to find much. Dashes up and gets the punish. 5S has been a money button for Danny so far, but this time we're able to get the punish on it. Yeah, Walter's doing a really good job staying out of the range and then going for the IAD, a preemptive IAD to call out the far slash. That's how we closed out that round and put a game on the board. Let's see. Maybe taking a little bit of a breather. Slowing things down in your own mind, right? You can't allow Walter to run away with it. Yeah, but so far, you, still. I was gonna say, how do you stop the momentum? I mean, even with like you having a pretty strong DP to be able to break out of situations, and Danny having pretty good situational awareness to not get put in those spots often, it's just it, it just gets too out of hand. The second Walter's momentum and ability to snowball individual hits is is genuinely unmatched tonight. Heavy stun edge. The first is off the table for both of these players. Oh my god, run right into the elbow. And there we go. Sniping the landing with the far slash. Danny's been trying to do that a lot. Getting a lot of reward for it as well. No knockdown though. Okay. Pretty confident. When it comes to the block string there. Good follow up. Should be able to get the wall break here. Yep. Using the wild assault. Still has meter. <gasps> yeah, this time the meaty there on that bad moon. But you know what? We still have the positive bonus to keep up this pressure. It's not over yet. You have to block for your life plenty of more times. Danny's gonna spend and try and be a hero. Look at the meter. RGO, does he behind him? No, it doesn't, but we're gonna go for the PRC. Air scoop, 5k hits. Danny is able to take the round. Had 100 meters, so spending the burst there was not the biggest risk in the world, and it came out in Danny's favor. Okay, 2K2D finds a knockdown. Goes over with the Capel. Ooh, holding on to the burst, huh? Not gonna go for the Wild Assault to get the knockdown. We're confident in our neutral game. PRC and then nothing. The PRC, Danny reacted to it with the DP. That was incredible from Walter. Here comes okay. the winger. Yep, Notice, knowing that you have full burst available, definitely wants to save that one as best you can. One more interaction to be able to take the round here. Slides on in, PRC late. Yeah, landing with JS is not gonna be as easy in this matchup because of that 6P. Nice, swapping size. Danny, of course, holding on to the burst this time. Pell almost found it, 2K2D for the knockdown. Does get the cross up and finds the knockdown again. Loop that pressure. He says Goman. And then the 2K2D burst comes out. Okay. That's 50 meter for Walter. Finds that low for the second time. Just blocks. Blocks the bad moon, but 2S finds a smart. Walter is one away. Actually, genuinely, one of the most unbelievable showings we've seen from a TNS drive. Walter is so close to capping off a hell of a night. Chat, I need you to understand. If Walter wins the next game, he did not drop a single game all of top eight. That is three O's throughout all of top eight. Literally only dropping one game the entire run. <laughs> Danny, this would be one of the sickest comebacks. Danny has the opportunity to to write his own wonderful story here. This would be one of the one of the all timers as a comeback from Danny. Just 
This one's for Kona, bro. All right, there's the back dash into the far slash. Double overhead ends up forcing the burst out there on that clean touch. Nice trade. Look at the movement! Avoiding the Fudray arc and still able to air dash right back on in for the JP. Oh my god, just everything's hitting! Some of that wasn't even a combo, it just all hits! Tournament point. Yo, Danny, putting him a fight. Over here, yeah, falling right on top of you with the JH. We're not trying to go for that JS as often anymore. After we got hit with that 6P, we learned our lesson. Slice the back dash, though. Triple Whoa. just block into the punish. It's not just offense. He's not just vortexing. The defense is crazy, too. Yeah, able to paint out the DP, forcing it to whiff as well. Mix up fastball into the corner. The oh. DP, speed. That's going to be around here for Danny. That triple just block was unreal. Two frame window, mind you. No shaker to back things off. Capel, a little bit of damage, but not much. Danny, big opportunity here. Gotta make this one hurt. And he does, doesn't quite break the wall, but that might even be for the better here, but no, no hard knockdown. Lands right on the hair car into the OTG. This could be it. Not enough to kill, but still, this is really good. I love using Wild Assault too. Plenty of resources across everything. Oh, PRC into nothing. Danny just running out of the way. Yeah, reset neutral. You don't want to be caught in the scramble situation here against Walter. Hasn't worked out in your favor. Monkey, Monkey thank you. I love you. Back dash is cool. 6P. Punish, no. It's a row. Heavy stun edge set up. There's the burst coming out. Danny still has burst available. Has one leg up here on Walter. Capel, it hits, he doesn't get anything. Bro, getting out of dodge, there's the JH. Trying to make out the burst on the two He forgot to press D. He's holding on to it for dear life. <laughs> 2K, he oh, forgot, no. the D one is broken. There's no dust. He's just pressing 2K to try and bait out the burst and there it is, the dust coming through. Danny putting a point on the board. <laughs> His dust button is broken. What is happening? Twice in a row, he gets 2K, no D. Because he's trying to get the burst. He's trying to bait out the burst from Danny, but Danny held onto it for dear life. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel sick. I feel sick. <laughs> Okay, Danny needs three in a needs three in a row. Two more games straight. Great DP to start. Oh man, we are mashing on that far slash. Oh, with throw. Take a ton, of, a ton of your life off the table for that two. That's so bad. Oh, we got the double close slash. Unfortunately, lost the corner, but hey, Milia's mix is just as potent mid screen. All right, Winger absolutely still alive. But the hard knockdown along with 50 more meter here. Okay. Wallace Old puts you in a hard knockdown. Walter, how do you spend this meter? Maybe YRC right away. We're not even going to get to see. Tap, dust, just hits. Oh, hold on. There's no way, dude. Danny. He might he might be able to do it. Oh, the double with throw. All right, just landing same side here with the JH. That's kind of been the classic here for Walter. Okay. But even up the rounds here, Danny under a lot of pressure. Under duress, he goes for JS, not quite there. <laughs> Fastball Capel, so scary. 
Oh, and again, just winning on the ground there, knowing he had time to dash up. OTG, nothing, nothing. He's still alive. Oh, but we tried to press. We thought we had time to go for a button press there. And we had to burst. That's really tough for Walter. And Walter bursts and still gets hit. All right, but we jump out. Fast fall into the Capel again. Anything will do it here for Walter. Wouldn't be surprised if he S disc soon. Instead, it's just giving me the dash under the clean hit. Yeah, tournament point straight. again. Tournament point again. Even on the first gauge. Throws the DP. Huge start now for Walter. Honestly, it's more of a detriment here for Danny that he doesn't have burst to save him. Oh my god, it crosses up. Why does she need that? Fakes the double overhead, goes for the throw. Walter, momentum, DP's out though. Just gets hit by the honest mid. Half your life gone, and you're going through the wall. This is a positive bonus for Danny. The meter though, Walter almost full resources. 5k, it connects. It doesn't kill though, it doesn't hit the wall. PRC compels out, of, compels out. he gets the hit again. It's not gonna kill, it's not gonna kill. So we go for the wild assault here. Wants to hold on to the meter for this next interaction. Something in neutral. He's able to block. And just like that, Walter is able to do it. He blocked the RTL on a great call. Oh, and Walter, he can finally put his disc away.